Welcome to Retro Sports Gamer Channel. I'm Tim Kitzer from NBA Jam and Mutant Football League, NFL Blitz, and a few other games. Boom shakalaka. Kaboom. The Bears are what we thought they were. They're what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bull bull We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Welcome, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. Trojan 1979 here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. It's week three. They are who we thought they were. Default playbook's coming your way. Players will not be permitted to change their playbook. However, they can change their player alignment any way they see fit as long as the game allows it. We have a game between Nostradamus and the Retro Sports Gamer. Before we get into that game, I'm going to welcome in our color commentator, co-organizer of the Detroit Kumite, Fast Ed, how you doing? All right, baby. This is going to be a good matchup. I'm doing great here from Detroit. Nostradamus, he can tell the future. I want to see. You want to see the future? I think he'll I think he'll show it to us. That's what he does. Nostradamus, I believe he's from the great state of Minnesota. I, I could be wrong on that. Please correct me in chat if I am. Retro Sports Gamer, of course, the founder of this channel. So we have the honor of, of calling this game and making fun of him, maybe getting banned from it. We'll see. Retro Sports Gamer was offered the match of, of Bears and Dolphins. He denies his home Ooh. team. Denies his home, his home team. Goes with the Miami Dolphins. Let's get right into the action. Well, that's a good matchup right here, especially with the default playbooks. Both these teams have really good default playbooks, all things considered. So you could pretty much use all the run plays with the Bears, if I recall. Same with the Dolphins. Dolphins would not have a great run game, but... Uh, passing game, I think you can use all their passes too. So there's not any crazy plays on each side of the ball. So, And Mark Duper with the 50 maximum speed in average condition. We'll see if Retro Sports Gamer takes advantage of that in the running attack or not. Johnny Bailey. Not yeah, I'm interested to, in. see, interested to see. Yeah, he's got Anderson at running back. A lot of people like to put Bailey there in Anderson at receiver. Uh, I'm curious if you put Bailey at receiver, if he's... Uh, got Anderson running back, so we'll find out. You got to think so. Um, what I usually find in these situations is people get a little confused. Uh, I would say all four of the running plays are certainly common. That pass one's a little odd. It was the slowest first play ever. Whew. It was Anderson like a wind delay. Here he goes. And taken down. Should have the first down. And he does. That was easy. Oh. Uh-oh. That was easy. Props, ladies and gentlemen. I, I mean, if he can get chunks like that every play, it's going to be a long day for Minnesota. And here's run one. It's called Anderson. Nowhere to go. Loses three, second and 13. <laughs> There's the drive killer right there. Pass two is a call. Harbaugh, not Tom Zach. You can change the quarterback and all the other alignments of those. That oh, know. what a juke move by Harbaugh, Michigan man. That's what I'm talking about. Hail to the victors there. Did you see that? He got an extra like three yards Breaking on that Michael juke Jim move. Harbaugh. Just like Colin Kaepernick. Look at him. Look at him. First down running with Harbaugh. Looking like, I don't know, Eagles. <laughs> Randall Cunningham. <laughs> Oh, this right, is brutal, but it's working. Here's another pass, too, for Harbaugh. Run across the green here. Tap off. Looks like Virtual Sports Gamer has the taps, but my goodness, those guys tap slow. 9-7. to seven. Jarvis Williams on defense for Virtual Sports Gamer, and Harbaugh is taking out oh. the, the drone. Got a call the run call. There was no room on the edge there. Third down and seven. He Went to the running with the quarterback well, a little bit too much there, and it cost. Here's run three. Anderson has. Wow. 
just running right through him. Roche Sports Gamer not getting the taps going at all. He had an 11 tap there, so that's encouraging. That's a pretty good one. That was a good play call. I like a run like that on third and 11 or whatever it was long. Oh, terrible pass. Get Harbaugh out of Get rid of the Michigan man out of there. He is pretty cool oh, in this game. Um, I don't know if Nostradamus, again, thinks default lineups is what's required here. It's just the default playbooks. But here comes Anderson moving around 30, 25, 20. And taking, oh, yeah. boy, he breaks the tackle. Oh, no, touchdown. Uh, call for Nostradamus. So, dinking and dunking a little bit and getting it done on the ground. 6 nothing. Nostradamus over Retro Sports Gamer. I like the strategy so far. He's basically just running because he knows he can't pass the ball. Anderson is one of the better running backs in the game. You know, if he's not going to put Bailey back there, he might as well run with Anderson almost every time. Can't stop him. He can't stop him right now. Miami's got a good defense, too. Wow. So just get Harbaugh out of there, though. Get Harbaugh out of there. That's, he's ruining your pass game. So neither player has put Page in uh, Page or Muster, you know, they're, they're thumpers in the return game. I don't understand that at all. Um, that's that's a strength. Wanted. So it looks like he's leaving the running backs as is. I mean, Smith isn't bad, but he could definitely upgrade with Duper, but See how this works out. Waiting for Nostradamus, I guess. You know, just really going to the well with his, with, with his play picking ability here. We'll see. There's not much strategy with play calling with Nostradamus. It's just, can he predict the future? Stratford with a reception and out of bounds. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. We have two seconds left in the first quarter. My apologies. I got a little. I tried to Nostradamus it and I failed. <laughs> Just go by the facts. Just look at the clock. I was playing with alternative facts. Here comes Smith right up the middle, taken down. Welcome to the second quarter, 7 0. Nostradamus over Retro Sports Gamer driving with the first drive here in time for a condition. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to put Page back in there. Smith is okay, but Page is an upgrade. I don't know why he took him out in the first one. And now he's throwing Duper in there. So he's he got a, he got a first down, and now he's not content with that. He's changing it up. But I like it. Duper is now a threat, an actual pretty good threat at running back, all things considered. Jensen is a fantastic tight end, so he has basically two really good receivers. I would put Jensen at almost maybe wide receiver, but we'll see. Looks like Jensen's in at tight end still. Carrier yeah. against pass three. I'm real just do this with his legs here, and this week you can actually go out of bounds first down for Look at anymore. these two guys. They're using Marino and Harbaugh like they're Randall Cunningham, both these guys. It's uh, rather impressive. Most impressive. Oh, well, we got the past two curls and Marino out of bounds, second down and three. Look at that. Big gain. Seven yards by is that Marino? Because it looked like Cunningham to me. Oh, play action. Rolling out. Oh, oh now Clayton. he's actually going to throw His it. His mama called Clayton. I call it a touchdown. Retro Sports Gamer. Wow. That was a tech book play action right there. Wide open for the touchdown. Textbook. Absolutely textbook. Here comes extra points. Out of it should be good. He is good. 7-7. Seven, seven. Your score here. In the, the fact quarter. that the... The fact that the Bears fell for that, though, he hasn't run the ball with the running back yet, and the first time he made it look like he did, completely fell for it. Bailey out of the end zone to the 10 versus ground taken down at the 14. First down and 10, 331 Tecmo remaining. Tecmo time remaining here in the second. All right, I expect him to run the ball a lot more. Uh, not with the quarterback, but he's going to try it. Only one yard there. Got to go to Anderson, man. That is your strength. Excellent running back, and he couldn't stop him on the first drive. And his best receiver. Exactly. Well, yeah, but he's doing it with his legs third and one. It's really like he's sitting on that pass too, and I wonder uh, how long before Roger Sports Gamer starts taking that away from him. <sighs> well, he hasn't yet, so maybe he'll recognize that pattern pretty soon. It is a good play, and of course, he doesn't call it here. <laughs> Fooled us all. He's going to run for that first down. Those drones just watch him go by for an extra five yards. Another first down scramble for Nostradamus. 
down from the bottom hash mark. This is run three, it's called. And a fumble oh, no! by the Dolphins. J.B. Brown zigging, zagging. And that's a house call touchdown to Sports Gamer. That is a heartbreaker. That is a blockbuster moment. Play of the game. Brought to you by your video wonderland blockbuster. Stop in for buy one, get one free tomorrow all weekend. 14-7 Dolphins after a fumble return for a touchdown practically ruins the game for Chicago, but they are still in it down by seven with a chance here to score for the uh, half. Well, Bailey, nowhere to go, taken down at the nine. By the way, we are not endorsed by Blockbuster because there's only one store in existence. <laughs> I think it's in Oregon. He called the same play and he called it again. It's oh, Oregon. man, who's, who's, it's who's Nostradamus? What did I say, Oregon? Yeah, it's Oregon. <laughs> What are you from the Midwest? Oh, wait, so am I. Anderson breaks a tackle, zigging, oh. zigging. He's got a little bit of room. Finally taken down past the 15, third down and two. Well, he should have gotten more yards on that after he broke the tackle. Uh, sitting on this run one appears to be in nowhere to go. Fourth and three decision time four. Go for it. Go for it. You got eight plays you can call here for three yards. You can run it with the quarterback. You can run it with the running. If I were him, I would call... I was going to say a shotgun. <laughs> I wish I'd have spit it out before I saw the play. Well, then you, you expect to run. And he, you, he is not you. He's oh, wow. He's got oh, a dangerous pass, but he got the first down past the 30, 33 seconds remaining. Wow. Technical time. Over it all. Just over it all. Just watch the ball sail right over his head. Helplessly could jump high enough to get that. Well, maybe he can get in field goal range here. He's got. Maybe enough time for two Hail Marys to Anderson if he puts him a wide receiver, which he's not. It's a big mistake. I would put Bailey and Anderson at wide receiver right now and go for two Hail Marys. And, and Muster is the other one because he's got the hands. And he True. didn't do any of that. Ball play, taken down, Jeff. Clark oh, wow. Side. Now you got time for one Hail Mary, and you're not putting your best wide receiver back there. Maybe he knows something we don't with the future. Oh, my God. Taken down, Hugh Green. Still got a time for a Hail Mary, though. If you call a play quickly, because you can call it again, and you still have time for a play. Oh, he's going. He's just living on that All right. pass, too. He's All right, let's let see if we can do it. This is key. This is huge. Huge. He can get seven points back desperately he needs. Oh, man. I think he actually got it, all the way down. Good throw. Davis did. Good throw. Good throw. Oh! Touchdown, Chicago Bears. Wendell Davis. Are you kidding me see i told you he could predict the future he knows something we don't know what do i know forget anderson forget bailey forget muster throw it to who the heck was that i don't even know <laughs> next next time week four will just be nostradamus letting everyone know what their game score is going to be and we'll wow be which wide receiver was that morris i don't even know which one that was oh even I, worse so actually even got down the field that slow ass wow You'd think he would have thrown it 20 yards out of bounds. No, Harbaugh throws a perfect jump ball. Perfect jump ball when he needed it most. The game, it's a game now. He lost that possession on the fumble recovery, but he got it back. What a nice Mostly half. Because what a we great have the Michigan jer- broadcaster here. So here yes. comes Paige. Harbaugh! I may tweet this out to Harbaugh and see what he says. I don't think he cares. <laughs> I might not even watch this. First down and 10. From the 15. I want to see Duper in action here. I want to see him at running back. Well, Is this a play Super action? Duper. No, it's the run. Good Tap stop. Hey, Marge Sports Gamer, tap faster. I don't think he can. I think he can. I think he... I don't know. I don't, just doesn't make it a priority. He hasn't proven it to me yet. It's been a consistent uh, egg, goose egg, on uh, out tapping right now. So I'm not impressed. But... Uh, his mama called me. Fiddling was lying up a little bit here. I'm going to see what he does with Clayton here. Maybe put him in the running game. He's got more jukes. Huh. Well, he's still got Duper there. I mean, either way, they're an upgrade from Smith, but again, leave Jensen in there. Okay, so he's still got two good receivers, two good right receivers. He's got Stratford. a good, uh, good running back so. and Duper. I mean, I don't like Strat- Stratford in there, but he's not. I mean, well, it's, it, that's a condition choice there. Yeah, Tanton yeah. On defense is a good choice by Nostradamus. He's running it. 
Marino. Don't tap, fumble. Tap, tap, taken down. Third down and one for Retro Sports Gamer. Well, at least yeah. we can see Retro Sports Gamer can out tap a drone. At least that's positive. Baby steps, folks. <laughs> Big third down here. He's going to run it. Easy first down for Marino. He can crawl for the first down if he wanted to. Very nice. And he pretty much does crawl when he runs, so same thing. It's hard to stop a one-yard game when you don't call the play. <laughs> and there is the duper dive up the middle, second down and six. Well, that play achieved little to nothing. Interesting. That's that's kind of weak. Well, you had... There now he's got Strafford leading the way. And... Yeah, he, he's got to get... He's oh, got to no. get... Uh... Oh, my gosh. Out of bounds. Wow. Yeah, he's got to get the guy with the 88 hitting power as fullback. I mean, that is a big deal. Folks, if you're watching and you've got Washington or Green Bay or one of these teams as a really good fullback, use them as a lead back. Not a running back, but even, no even hitting Sammy power. Sammy Smith would stand up uh, any of the, the guys who wouldn't popcorn him, but he's got a, something like 63 hitting power. <sighs> yeah, Strafford Smith has bit. great hitting power as well as the running back. But you've got to either... – yeah, he's got to – Whatever. He's running he's effectively, I guess. Got. Call play, too. And taken down on the play action. No chance of getting rid of that one. Trace Armstrong with the drone sack. Second down and 18. That's a disadvantage of having that play action in your uh, arsenal. It's an automatic, what, six to eight yard loss. He calls it. Carrier on defense. Here's the run to the bottom. No play action. Plenty of blockers, but they gobbled up quickly. Third down and 14. Bears that looked like it had more bit. potential than what it got. Four lousy yards. This is big for the Bears right here. Call play does not get the double tap off. And it's the fridge. Awesome. Fourth down and 23. Punt that. Punt that away. The Bears got all kinds of momentum what after the hammer. Like, no, he's going for it on fourth and 23. Does he think it's fourth and three? Because there's a two before that three. <laughs> That's a big difference in yards, okay? Maybe his screen has uh, got some dirt on it. I don't know. He's already locked in. He's final answer. He has plugged his play in. I bet he's passing. <laughs> Going out on a limb. Pass the reason, Cole. He's got a chance. He's one-on-one -on -one at top with, I believe, Clayton. Clayton! Clayton! Down. Oh, he overthrew it! Marino overthrew it on a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, my gosh. She'd like to have that back. Wow, I mean, what a I missed he opportunity. He play a little bit of defense. Joseph Adamas hasn't shown that he's super elite on offense. He moved the ball, but it wasn't like huge. Yeah. Like, what, one of those was the touchdowns was a bomb at the end of the half. I mean, yeah. play some defense. I think, that's, I think that's what he was thinking. Hey, it's in midfield almost. At worst, I can maybe hold him. So we'll see. Well, he's giving but he's running here. in with Harbaugh. Oh, he's got Morris. Zach Morris gets stopped just before Bayside for... Big gain down to the nine. I think the nine. Shut up, Preppy. <laughs> I saw the reboot uh, teaser trailers out as a toss sweep down. Makes a couple moves. Yeah, the uh, Say by the Bell uh, reboot I'm, I'm trailer is out. Suck. Second down and three. It looks a little more adult themed, which is kind of cool. But it's only a minute teaser trailer, so who knows? Pass wow, look at that pass Mustard to Muster. Down. Wow. 14, welcome to the fourth quarter. He had a few options in the back of the end zone, but of course, risky throws. And of course, he that thing wasn't safe he either. He's going to run this ball, in my opinion, on third and ten. Guaranteed. And here's there you go. Three. Nostradamus right here. Nostradamus right here. Take your three. Go for it. No, I'd go for We're, the field we goal. we got some conflicting opinions here. I'd go for the field goal. You have to get points. You have to take the lead. I'm sorry. If if it were if it were like two minutes, I would say maybe go for it. But at 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 four thirty four, you've got time to kick this and play defense and stuff. Because time. yeah, because he can still play. The, even if Dolphins score with with a whole quarter, he can he'll still probably get the ball back. I'd go for the field goal. Oh, he called this play. Turn there you go. Downs. No points. Retrosports no Cameron points. Has the initiative. That was a blockbuster play of the game right there. The huge sack on fourth down to keep it a tie game. Blockbuster video. Buy, sell, trade, rent. Anytime. In Oregon. Not sponsored by the Retrosports Gamer channel in any form or fashion. Troy Stratford <laughs> passed the marker. First down. Nice run. 
Stratford. Ricky Stratford, I think. No, sure. it was Ricky Schrader. Yeah. Oh, the Stratfords, I think, were the neighbor. I don't know who the Stratfords were. What TV show that was. Oh, here comes Super Duper 40. 45, zigging zagging past the 50. 45, 40, oh, excuse me. Wow. Two out of bounds. First Feed down. Duper. He cut through the defense there oh, like it was nothing. Give it to him. You know, it goes back to uh, Stratford. Why not? He's got a lead blocker, too. The eh. drone bailed him out because he got popcorn. Wow. That was disappointing two yards. This is a dangerous throw here. Oh, oh my goodness. That could have been a game changer. He could have run that for six, seven yards, too. See what happens on this next play. He is in field goal range. Of course, it's never a gimme, especially online. And Let's just say, I think he might yards. run this. Oh, he did, too. Good good call by Nostradamus. He... I can't. But to call a run there is so risky if they call a pass. Wow, he got in. Is he block it? Someone, no. Someone blocked that guy. And he joined it in Stojanovic, 17 and 14. That was one of the weirdest field wow. goals I've ever seen. That was, yeah. <laughs> and then he gets a full kick. He almost butchered the field goal kick, and then he just nails a, a perfect kickoff. So either he can kick or he can't. We don't know. <laughs> Too funny. First down and All right, 10 so here for Nostradamus. He's got plenty of time. 2.19, tech one on the clock. He can, he can run the ball, too, because there's plenty of time. He can get some chunk plays, but he chooses to pass with uh, the mighty Harbaugh. I think he's going deep here. He's Step going before. for... Wants Thornton. Looks good. Looks possible. Oh, another JJ. Yes. And yes. Got the, oh, we lose the tip. Tap him. Throw him off. All 25 Go. Maximum speed of Thornton running around. Oh, there. my God. Rumbling. Stumbling. Literally. He looked like he was rumbling and stumbling. Wow. What a play. First down oh, is 10. It's in field goal range now. So it's definitely going to be a, a photo finish. Pass two is the call. Here comes Harbaugh. He's running it. What do we know? Harbaugh! Harbaugh is the play of the player of the game right now, folks. If he can pull this off, I give him the MVP. Hard to take the away from Anderson, but second down and one. I don't know. Harbaugh's thrown two perfect jump balls that have really changed the game. Third down and three. I mean, without those two jump balls, that's seven points he lost, and he's not anywhere close into into uh, Dolphins territory. And believe me, you've played with Harbaugh. <laughs> It doesn't happen very oh, often. He's going to the end zone! Oh, Nostradamus, James Thornton for six. Woo! And they take the lead. What a drive. Powerball. I'll say it again. Forget Tom Zach. Forget everything we knew about playing Tom Zach over Harbaugh. Keep Harbaugh in there, folks. Look at these passes. Look at him on. run. Don't do it. It's impressive. All right. Dolphins might have time for one play. And... Come on. Oh, he's got enough room. He's got enough room for... Get, get Mitchell in there. Get Mitchell in there. All right. He can't hear him. Oh, he's in bad, too. He's not going to make the throw. <laughs> what do you do? Well, it'll actually... Mitchell, it'll, it'll get there slower. Um, so it the, might be thrown 20 yards. It might be thrown 20 yards out of bounds, though. That's the problem. All right, yeah. Does he keep him Marino in there? Wow. Doing what you only have two pass plays. Well, you can call... You can call the play action... Uh, but that's a well risky. three. You can you can call the pass three. You got one guy Clayton going deep. In fact, that's what I would call because he's least likely to call that. Because if he, yeah, I mean he's got three three plays you can call essentially. All right, don't call the play. I want to see a nice finish. Well, here's your pass three coming. Probably I mean, it could be pass one. Could be the play action. Take carry or take your shell. Oh, single carry. Nope. Okay. Oh, he's he got he flat. A no way. He's got a chance now. He's got a chance. There's no way. Oh, he's like oh! No. No chance. 23 17. No Stradamus over Retro Sports Gamer. That was fun. Morrissey. Every day is like Sunday, folks. Morrissey right there. Morrissey fans, Sunday morning. Fans of Morrissey might get that. What a finish. If he throws that ball, it might get down to the 30, the 20. He's got a chance. Woo, what a game, dude. What a game. That was one of the better ones I've seen. Uh, a lot of running with the quarterbacks. Harbaugh, 85% completion percentage, no interceptions. Harbaugh.
player of the game by far. Sponsored, not officially, by Blockbuster Video of uh, Oregon. Whether it's Sports Gamer Channel or GB Land in any form or fashion. We'll see you guys in another game. Hang with us. Stay tight. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you, Ed, for all you do. And thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll be with you real soon. Welcome back, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. Trojan 1979 still here on the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. We thank you for being with us. We are in week three. They are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. It's default playbooks for all players this week. They can move the players around, including wide receiver or tight end running the ball if they so choose. But the playbooks have to stay as they are in the default configuration. I'm welcoming for the first time this season, but not in our hearts. She <laughs> hit her eye. Welcome to the booth. Uh, I am who you thought I was, but you didn't let me off, let me off the hook. I I'm did. I, I, I told you I was uh, going out to get some food, right? And uh, <laughs> snagged you in last minute after your walk. So let's get it over to a... Oh, man, we've got a match between Slapshop and Darth Rockman. You know, I guess we, we should acknowledge them uh, in the room here. Yeah, um, so Darth I'm very familiar with. Slapshot, I literally have never seen him play before. So I will be learning uh, along with the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the people who don't know who he is. So, Slapshot, glad you're playing in the tournament. Apparently, you're part of the uh, the G-Men uh, crew out there. So, it should be fun to uh, see a new guy playing. Yep, all the guys at D-Men Tap are, are really jonesing for some techno because of social distancing right now. They can't get together on their usual Mondays. They're getting creative. If you haven't checked that out on Monday nights, they have this thing where they're inviting people uh, to play Super Nintendo games over a web browser. It's actually quite fun. Uh, we all share our faces on Discord. Nice. But back to this game, I guess shameless plug, right? So uh, Philadelphia Eagles, Buffalo Bills, a matchup that you might not typically see. I, I think Dove typically would favor Buffalo, but because of the default playbooks, uh, the tide shift a little bit once you break it down for the fans. Yeah, you know, not an unreasonable matchup straight up, really. But uh, with default playbooks, the Eagles playbook is pretty solid. Um, and the Bills playbook really limits the effectiveness of, uh, of Thurman. So I feel like this is very fair. In fact, I might even take the Eagles in this matchup. So should be a good one. And you have the factor. We may see uh, Keith Jackson at running back. That's totally a possibility at 50 MS might be a factor. You know, I think maybe in goal line situations. Um, personally, I'd keep him at wide receiver um, unless I was real close to the end zone just to stretch the field. Otherwise, I think the next fastest guy on their team is 38 MS. So. Just not enough distance for QB Eagles to uh, to get things done. Shotgun formation for Darth Rockman. And it is a direct snap to Thomas. Gets the tap. Oh. Here he goes. Thomas near the marker, taken down about eight yards, second down and two. Yeah, so there's really, I mean, against the Eagles, good LB4 there. Uh, it's going to be tough to get Thomas going. I think that shotgun play might be the best one he's got because this thing should be going nowhere. And I mean, it's just pitch. like... Short yardage only. So the playbook's really hamstringing the, the Bills here. It's interesting. Pass. We don't have that play-action pass on one to go with the rest of that. Well, it wouldn't really make that much of a difference anyway, I don't think, because uh, LB4 there would just come up and crush it. So you'd either be, oh, oh, there's some nice juking. Bad defense He's not there. just a tapper, folks. Thurman Thomas with 45-50 and out of bounds. First yeah, round. that was really poor defense. Just got a little bit impatient, got caught up by a drone, and uh, paid the price. From the top hash mark, going with Eric Allen, and we've got a call play action pass, and there's a drone sack by Byron Evans. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking uh, if I was running this, it'd be a lot of pass one, pass three, and pass four. <laughs> And then chucking it to uh, chucking it to Reed. I'd say that's the one advantage the Bills really have here is that the Eagles secondary is pretty poor from an interception standpoint. Well, he's going for all of it for Andre Reed. Back in the end zone, double covered. It don't matter. Touchdown. Yeah, you're gonna get that. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, uh, Waters, I believe, is the, uh, the safety back there, and uh, he's just the worst safety in the game. Hopkins is actually, I think, 56 INT at strong safety, but he's so, so slow. And uh, Eric Allen and Ben Smith, both 50 INT, so there's just no one who can really get a hand up and uh, and knock those things down. Here's Jackson out of the end zone to the 10. The 13 versus field taken out of the 14. First down and 10 for slap shot first possession here. So it looks like he's keeping Jackson at uh, receiver. So we'll see uh, what kind of strategic... 
how chicanery he gets up to maybe as he gets closer to the end zone. He's got Barnett at a running back position here on the third running play. From the top hash mark, here's pass one. QB Eagles dancing around. Plenty of opportunities. Goes down, and Keith Byers has a reception in the auto dive and taken down on the field of play at 31-yard line first down. Yeah, really nice play there. Judged the passing speed of the quarterback perfectly. Slaughtered it in. Really well done. Here's pass three. This is something you might see from Thrash. Yeah, you know, I've seen guys be pretty effective with that pass three, but not from a JJ standpoint. I actually think it's a pretty lousy play for JJ's, but if you have a mobile quarterback, um, you can really scramble well with it. And nice defense there by Darth Rockman. Really nowhere to go, third down and seven. Yeah, the Bills D-line and front seven are so good that uh, he's going to have a really hard time moving the ball. Bruce Smith's going to just have his way with people. Gets the dive to Sherman after the redirect, just short of the 50, but a first down for slap shot. Sherman's the guy you got to yep. be careful when you give him the ball. <laughs> well, he's not too swift, but he had sure hands there, at least. QB goes just scrambling here and gets out of bounds, takes a safe yard, second and five. Yeah, I mean, if he stays patient and just, uh, you know, takes five yards at a time with QB Eags, he should, uh, shouldn't should have too much trouble moving down the field. Call pass, play throw to the sideline, out of bounds, and 16 seconds here remaining in the first as we look at a third down and five for slap shot. And here Everybody's QB covered, Eagles. but it just doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a QB Eagles game for you. Two seconds will be the last play here of the first quarter. Yeah, I mean, I like the approach Darth is taking. Take Tally or take uh, Bennett or Smith and just kind of stay near the line of scrimmage. Try to contain him. And, uh, you know, with QB Eagles, if he's throwing it into coverage, he still might complete it, but it's better than just letting him get a sure 10 on the ground. So it looks like he actually went past the line of scrimmage and then came back and got sacked. Uh, that we didn't see the sack animation and good retreating defense there by Darth Rockman. Third yeah. down eleven. Panic throw there. So let's see what uh, Slapshot can come up with. First really, uh, first really dicey situation he's had. And runs out of bounds. I don't think that Ooh. was intentional. Fourth down and thirteen. Field goal attempt for Roger Rico. This is not the week where. Um, there's no out of bounds, so it didn't work out. I said that that led to some fun results from yesterday's broadcast. As, as the point when we're uh, recording this day, three seven, the field goes good. Nice job by Slapshot. Get something out of that drive. Yeah, uh, kind of lost his patience there, um, and the drive stalled out. So, you know, you, you got to really be willing to extend those plays. Uh, you know, with QB Eagles, you've actually got time to scramble all the way to the opposite side of the field and, and get that, for example, the running back one open on that pass one. But he kind of panicked, pulled the trigger a little too early, and um, I think Darth has got to be feeling good about holding him to three points there. This time I'm going with oh, Dan Sarandler, Reggie White, Minister of Defense against Thomas here, and you're not going to win that tap any day of the year. Here comes Thurman <laughs> Thomas, 25-30. 35, 40, 45 cross midfield out of bounds of the 49 yard line. First down, Darth Rockman. Darth Rockman, of course, one of the elite tappers in Tecmo Super Bowl. It's the same play that Darth got him on last time. He really needs to take uh, Joyner or Smith and be a lot more patient trying to stop that play. Just getting too aggressive and uh, giving up needless big plays there. Call play leads to a sack, second down and 16. And this time from the shotgun formation, bottom hash mark, another call play. It's going to go cross field to Reed. He has a step. Yeah, He's got and the why reception. not? And why not? Eagles can't do anything to stop that. They just have to hope for the best. Huge play and a call play by Darth Rockman. First down in 10 now. Uh, easily in Scott Norwood field goal range, but he wants more. And here's the pitch to Thomas. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he whiffed him. Wow. Oh, man. That play is just comically bad. Um,. But I don't know if uh, Shotgun was expecting him to juke, and he didn't. He just ran in a straight line, and uh, they were just ships passing in the night there. That, that He's going to force this to read. That running play actually works better when the defense calls it. Oh, risky throw there. That over risky is throw. on that play. Anyway, third down and one. Here we go. What are we looking for here on third down? Uh, 
I mean, for me, I'm throwing it to read basically all the time, either that or scramble for the first. So Eagles have just no answer. And the closer he gets, the harder it's going to be for him to score because really the playbook starts closing down. Um, and pass one is really the only pass that's going to work in short yardage. Then Smith across the formation, Thomas. Oh, he should be a house call here. Oh, he runs out of bounds. I think he wants to burn some more clock. Yeah, man. I think I, I think I would have punched that one in there, Darth. He's taking some chances here, especially as the uh, as the playbook gets tighter, close to the goal line. If to, uh, ben Whoa! What is over. he? What is he doing? Oh my goodness! Uh, if, uh, it's, a, it's a pitch action game. You can't handle the the, the, the option, I guess. See, that was uh, that was that was kind of baffling defense there, honestly. Sorry, Slapshot, I don't mean to come down hard on you, um, but you were really containing those plays so well right up to that point, and uh, I don't know if he just bit hard on the on the fake up the middle or, or what, but he was nowhere to be seen. We're, we're learning things we didn't know we'd have to learn in a Tecmo tournament first down the 10, <laughs> Slapshot. Yeah. It's, uh... I mean, okay. I think Slapshot gets the ball, right? I remember that yeah, right. I believe so. Oh, right. diving out of bounds. You gotta, you gotta love that. Go check. So that. it's it's not a must score opportunity. I mean, he's not out of the game, but uh, you know, no, a score here. Go throw to the same guy. Oh, it's intercepted <laughs> out of bounds. Are you kidding me? Go to the go to the camera. Insta replay. Oh, oh two uh, two out of bounds catches in a row, one for each team. So Darth can just put him away here with a score, or make it very very difficult with a field goal. From the shotgun, Ben Smith across the formation, and Andre one on one coverage. Oh man, he just and a touchdown. Well, I, I I don't know if he was worried he was going to go to the tight end there, but uh, shotgun broke off the coverage, started going to the middle or bottom, and just left Reed wide open. Um, so you, tough you turnaround he there. Score too fast? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because he was burning clock there on purpose and then still had time to score again. Um, but uh, Eagle's not a great long ball oh, team. He doesn't get out of bounds. He has no chance to throw this up. Nah. Boo, really tough turn of events there for uh, for Slapshot. Not an impressive half. Played pretty bad defense, frankly, um, and couldn't really get much going on the other side of the ball. So let's see if he can... Uh, Let's see if he can get some momentum going with this first drive of the second half. It's not inconceivable. He could come back. He needs a little bit of luck. But a uh, score here and a stop, and then he's kind of back in it. Jackson out of his – well, well, not out of his end zone, out of something. It's first down and 10. Out of luck soon if he doesn't get a touchdown. Yeah, this is a this is a must-score drive here. It is over. Watch Jackson and – is oh. not there, so he gets the gra diving grab on the wow. nine first down. Nice. Turn I mean, tally has got forty-four int, so you don't usually see him just whiff those. Um, so lucky break there for shotgun. He's gonna go test the waters again. Keith Jackson, I'm gonna take back two of them. Flap Jackson, I gotta see him for the Crimson Tide <laughs> touchdown. Oh, and Mark Kelso jumps and whiffs too. So pretty, uh, pretty poor drone coverage there from the Bills. Oh, just like that. He's closer. Closer being the keyword. Well, that was the quick score he needed. I mean, it wasn't really uh, maybe how you draw it up, but it worked. He just needs Darth Rockman to put his controller down. All right, here comes Moore. Or a fumble. Right? You know? down to the One trail. fumble, and he's back in the game, man. QB Bills isn't bad, so I mean, that had certainly helps Slapshot's cause here. McKellar isn't good. Not really a factor in the game. Yeah, especially with this playbook. Um, I really like to put McKellar at wide receiver two and uh, Mueller at tight end. Get a little bit of blocking from that wide receiver two spot. Is, but, is it you know, with this that playbook... I'm wearing this jersey, by the way? <laughs> oh, I can't see. What, it, what is it? Is that a Thurman Thomas jersey? It's Thurman Thomas, yes. Nice. Nice. Did I ever tell you the story? I went to uh, Tecmo Columbus a couple years ago. And I had to get on a bus, and the guy that picked me up, his name was Thurman. <laughs> nice. 
It's yeah. like not a ton of Thurmans out there. No, no, it was it was uh, it, it was meant to be. First down for Darth, Darth Rock, man. I knew it was in the right place. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I think if I'm Darth here, I'm just I keep feed and read. You know, even if he throws a pick, it's going to be deep in the other uh, on the other side of the field. Oh, or feed McKellar. Well, he's Question good, but it's over his head. Oh, and it's the uh, break that he needs. Allen with the pick and slaps wow. the tennis down at the 20 yard line on 47 tech with time in the third. Man, Darth got a little cute there. It's like if you're going to throw it deep into coverage, why not throw it to Reed? The only cute might throw an interception. Second down maybe, and ten. Called play. Lock maybe he was feeling a little bit, uh, feeling a little bit cocky there, up two scores and uh, shotgun with a chance to put himself right back in it. Just going to throw it into coverage again to Jackson, and with why the, not? With all these limited plays, it's feeling a lot like original Tecmo Bowl with just four usable plays. <laughs> and a double deflection there and the popcorn out of bounds. Third down and ten. Yeah, that's why the Eagles, I think, are the a pretty strong pick because they really have kind of well, all four pass plays are usable. And uh, they have a good running play with QB Eagles there, which he hasn't done at all yet, uh, by the way. Uh, way too many called plays here, and I guess this is the last time you could do this. Um, I wouldn't Ooh. be killing clock to let it go the first round here. Man, Bruce Smith almost got there. We almost had a uh, had a blocked punt. Miller not getting out of bounds. He had an opportunity to do so. At least it looked that way. First down and 10. Darth Rockman does not put it on the ground. 17 seconds here in the third. I don't think we're going to see him throw deep to McKellar again. <laughs> I, I agree that was with a that <laughs> What's the over-under on McKellar throws the rest of the game? Second Zero. Down <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to give him like a half a throw? No. Uh, we, we, we've been yeah. putting odds on the various uh, uh, things we're seeing now with fumbles and all that. Well, it's just like if you're going to throw it deep, why, why would you throw it to anyone other than Reed if you're throwing it deep into coverage anyway? So, so he's, he wants it. Okay. This is this is who you want to throw it to, and he's in the right spot. He's locked on. Twenty-one ten is into the fourth quarter. Third and sixteen, important. You need to Bill's stop back here. into average. Reed and bad. McKellar and good. Oh, well, maybe we will see another McKellar throw. I probably uh, probably underestimated it. Important third down. Slap shot needs a stop. Needs to force a punt. Needs to get. Points, two touchdowns actually. Another pass one here. So tough decision time. He does come underneath, and he gets it. Oh, oh but he does get the drone help. So he's gonna have the time click uh, tick away here. Well, as player one, he's. I mean, despite uh, a pretty poor possession there, shotgun's still in it. Um, managed to get the stop and uh, you know he could score and get an onside or if he scores fast he could pooch it and, and hope for the best so still not over from the top hash mark QB Eagles this is pass three and he goes to Tony Light <laughs> oh, Tony 40 another whiff <laughs> Oh, Tally with another. See, if I saw him, if I saw Darth Manning Tally in that formation, I start running run four on him. He's very vulnerable to that. And takes oh. a sack there. Couldn't quite get away from Cornelius Bennett. Second down and fifteen called play, of course, and uh, not out of it here. Three minutes, but you want to get a quick score because you want to be able to punt this away and play defense. And he gets the quick strike and oh, gets the bump off there. So touchdown for slap shot. Darth uh, tapped a nine there. Not I really up to was, Darth. His standards. hand wasn't in the right position. He 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 oh, switches his hand on tap, so that's the one way you get him. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, did I just give away your secrets, your kryptonite? Sorry, there, Darth. Uh, onside kick? Oh, I guess not. He did. <laughs> okay. I didn't see him burn his timeouts before, so I mean, he technically you always have that last second chuck up if you can get the ball back, but. Uh, Trying to get out of bounds. Nope. And taking down Ooh. the 12-yard line. 206 remaining. That's a great way to give the ball back is to not get out of yeah. bounds. Yeah. Uh, note to self, get out of bounds there. <laughs> it was like not only did he not get out of bounds, he lost yardage coming back. So not sure what the thinking was there. Oh, the pitch and the drone dive is there. Second and 16. He, and the timeout is used. 
Let's see how we defend. Ooh, defending this from Eric Allen. Okay. So get into play. Pretty good coverage. Here. Pretty good coverage, and Darth uh, just Rollins. not uh, not tossing it. One thirty nine. Man, well, he put him in a bad spot here. I mean, Darth has really been kind of floundering here in the second half. It's been pretty ugly, really. Pass one. I think he's kind of got these 50-50 JJ balls. He had that chance earlier in that last Oh, possession. he's not locked on. Oh, that's tough. Oh, oh no. out of his reach, fourth and 15. Slapshot's going to have a chance to throw one up. Man, that was just unlucky. A lot that of time was just away there. Well, I'll be darned if Slapshot doesn't have a chance to win this thing. That is just... I, I would never would have thought he would be in this position. I wonder if you could put Thurman um, Thomas out in the uh, in the route at all. I'm, I'm just kind of... I'm I'm stunned that he's got a chance to win it here. I'm sorry, he fires rather. Here we go. Had Thurman on the mind. All right, here comes the Jackson for it all. Back of the end zone, incomplete, and that's your ball game, Darth Rockman. Tried to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, but he failed in that too. Slap shot, drops this one, 17-21 in favor of Darth Rockman. Your thoughts as we close this one out? You know, I got some really good advice from Gats once, as I blew a, like, 21-point lead in a, uh, in a playoff game. Because I got up, and I just, I let off the gas, I kind of let my eye off the ball, and uh, the guy came back and beat me. And you know, you look at Darth, he put up zero points in the second half there. So you got to think that he just kind of lost his intensity, was maybe not playing as seriously as he should have, and it almost cost him here. So good job by uh, Slapshot staying with it, getting back in the game. And, um, I mean, Darth really dodged a bullet there. He very easily could have lost. Great breakdown. Hey, Pete Hitterai, thanks for calling this one. Um, I guess it's time to come out of the closet. <laughs> I'm enjoying it in here. I'm just going to stay here for a while. I, you should. You do a good job. All right, everyone. <laughs> From Pete Titterai's closet, this is Trojan1979, not in his closet. Thank you for watching this game. We'll have another one for you shortly. Stay tuned. And we are back. Trojan1979 here on the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. It's Tecmo time, week three. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Default playbooks here. The game between Hank the Tank and Scotty Weggs. And apparently we had the wrong profile picture last time we took this off his facebook page or the previous picture turns out it was a friend of his not him so believe it or not he's actually an asian photographer and this is a horrible picture absolutely horrible picture now scotty wakes this guy up front <laughs> by the way viking mo with me how you doing i'm great thank you good to have you back i know that was a really bad joke here we go <laughs> hank the tank and scotty wags let's see what matchup we've got here and Philadelphia Eagles and Buffalo Bills. This seems to be popular for this week. I think the default playbook of, of the Eagles is elevating them a little bit more, whereas the Bills uh, would normally be above them uh, in this matchup. And, of course, you have the factor where you can put in any player at a running back. So you could put uh, Keith Jackson there in that 50 maximum speed. Uh, don't know if Hank's going to roll with that, but it's certainly an option. So, um, your thoughts on this particular matchup with this rule set as we get into the action? Yeah, I like the idea of putting Keith Jackson at running back, even though there's only really two plays in the playbook that uh, you could use him, but it adds a uh, viable threat to at least a couple more plays uh, with Philly. So, uh, that's great. And obviously, the, the Bills' defense in the secondary is not too strong. So, it makes Philly a little bit better uh, and maybe evens this out a little bit. Uh, I think, either way, though, this could definitely be a a Huck and Chuck type game from both sides. Keith Byers after a short kick. Stopped at about the 19-yard line first down and 10, as you mentioned. Just two running plays there. Run one, run two can go to that running back position if you were to put Keith Byers in there. Nate Oms on defense. QB Eagles running around. And he's covered, double covered, incomplete second down and 10. Sort of forced that one. He did, yeah. So far, running with Drummond at running back. We'll see if that changes as the game goes on. Does get a cover catch to Keith Jackson, and he's taken down after breaking a tackle. First down. Or he could leave Jackson there if he's going to start playing that way, just so he has a little bit of better chance of catching the ball. Fantastic player. Packers were 
Lucky to have them in the Super Bowl run that they had. Bruce Smith on defense. Finally, the drone is there, second down and one. You can go out of bounds this week, folks, uh, for those of you that were excited with the Tiger King theme. Up to Calvin Williams, taken down, past the marker, first down. Crafty little play there to scramble and uh, buy a few yards and uh, not just a throwaway play. Pass three, and it's cold, and he's taken down. Does not let it go. Shane Collin with the drone sack, second down and 19. You know, really easy, a couple uh, hot routes on that play that he could have hit, just decided he was going to try to see if he can buy a time. And another covered catch, this time Keith Byers, who played against Keith Jackson in the Super Bowl. Third down and 13. So far, Scotty Wags in his head. Cross field, another completion of Calvin Williams. It looks like Bruce Smith is just terrorizing that offensive line and QB Eagles, but he does get the first down. Bruce Smith took out the running back as a receiver, too, so it was the only option left, but great play by Hank. Another call play, second down and 14. Another call play. And this time covered and complete third down and 14. Uh, completely avoiding apparently the all curls or excuse me, the all, the all deep Hail Mary play there. Here comes QB Eagles on a call play. Does not get away reverently with the sack. I don't know if Ruzek can hit from here. That's three straight called plays, and that's always going to help your defensive effort. Uh, and sometimes against the QB Eagles, it doesn't help that much. But here we go, fourth down. Are we calling a Nostradamus game? Going over the top to Fred Barnett, and the diving grab is missed, incomplete. And first down and 10 for Scotty Wiggs as he take over on downs here. And looking at this playbook, he's got the direct snap on run three. Uh, the other run play is not so hot, especially with a strong LB4 at the bottom and joiner. And there's the pitch to Thomas. Gets suckered in. Zigging, zagging, finally out of bounds. A huge gain to start this for Scotty Wiggs. That's really not the way to stop that play. It's, you know, no one really uses it, so no one knows how to stop it. But um, it's pretty simple to stop if you stay away from blockers. And unable to make contact uh, is Hank. I think you just have to honor. I mean, Thomas is a threat. You're not going to get too darn far down the field with, with Miller. And there's the fumble, and that's that's the risk that you take in calling that play. Well, that's the way to play it, uh, and then uh, getting there and, and bumping off the wide receiver and almost a huge break for Philly. Miss dive, and it does not get the diving grab on the reception, the play action. So we see the, the playbook superiority here for Philadelphia, and a three attempt will have to be settled for here for Scotty Weggs. Well, really a great aggressive defense there by Hank. Um, really uh, starting to make some plays. I think he's slowly now eliminating some viable plays from that playbook from the Bills. Ultimately, they still have that back and B in their offense. So be interesting to see how they use that. Time ticking away here in the first. Welcome to the second quarter. 3 nothing. Scotty Wiggs over Hank the Tank. Feeling each other out here in the first quarter. And now we'll see how they both do on their second possession. Looked like Jackson was in bad, so he'll probably stay at tight end. Now, not a huge benefit to move him to running back, and Drummond will be your guy. Uh, really got to mix up the play calling here for Hank if he wants to move the ball. Going across, he's got Byers, JJ, and the reception is there to the 40. Tap off and breaks the tackle, zigging, zagging, 25-20. The drones are there and take him down inside the 20 in the red zone. First and 10 for Hank the Tank. Well, everybody open. You want to make sure you get something out of that play. He was fortunate, too. And then the epic 9-7 to seven tap off. Um, pretty huge. <laughs> pretty huge play there. Those are, don't just grow on trees, folks. Oh, fumble inside the five bouncer out picked up by the Bills. Here comes Bruce Smith. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. And finally taken down. It's a huge break for Scotty Weggs. Keeping points off of the board. Yeah, it looks you know, like Bills isn't good. Excuse me, Troy. That's why it's really important to try to finish those plays when the man defender goes down like in that long bomb and the tap off. If he finishes that play, you know, that fumble in the middle of the field doesn't happen. So um, huge break for the Bills. 
Not much there. Second down and eight on the Thomas run. I think that run can be viable. You kind of hang out uh, back there, especially if it helps to have some taps, I suppose, but you, you kind of see if someone gets caught up in blockers or whatever. Good condition. Bills here is running at 19 maximum speed, gets the first down with his legs, and that'll open up the playbook a little bit for him. Well, with Jim Kelly and Good, that's going to really help a ton uh, as long as he doesn't get his play picked. And this time just going right up the middle with Muller. Is it Miller or Muller? I always would call him Mueller. Well, let's, go, let's go with Mueller. Okay. Be on the same Sounds page. Like Bu- Rise of Bueller. I like that. <laughs> oh, boy. He got caught up there. I think he thought maybe that drone would occupy the running back and I'm getting smoked up there. So, first, I was on that ru- a pass one there, which is a really good place, especially you have Reed going down the field with a good Kelly. You are good Bills. Uh, you want to go ahead and, and let that fly. I think there's going to be a lot of back and B for Scotty Wakes to be successful here. Really good coverage. I think he's got to let this fly. Wants McKellar. Usually not the guy you want. Let's see if he gets anything from it. And triple coverage incomplete. Hard to ignore Reed up top. Yeah, and I'm assuming he has Reed up top. Oh, no. Look that close. Oh, my goodness. Off the edge. And... (laughs) I, I don't I don't know if someone was in his ear or what, but you just don't see that very often in Tecmo. So just, essentially um, the blocked punt, which is just a tackle of the punter, uh, right. there are no blocks of punts in this game. Just incredible. I just tried to wait a little longer for blockers, I guess, but waited too long, and he got there. Huge break for the Eagles. they got to capitalize. We've seen a little everything here. We got the we got the fumble inside the the red zone inside the five. We've got the the tackled punter. We've got called players gal, uh, plays galore. Bruce Smith with another sack. Fourth and fourteen. What is this game? You, you well, you got to kick this uh, to at least tie it up. If you're the Eagles, every possession counts. A little low. Oh, it's blinked uh. out. We got a missed field goal, folks. I mean, this, the excellence continues. For these players, oh. hey, the tank and Sky Wags snatching to, uh, defeat from the jaws of victory early in this one. We'll see if they can bounce back and kind of reset when we get into halftime. Although, Scotty Wags here with an opportunity to put points on the board. Uh, if he can get away without suffering a cold play, he can get them down the field. You can really you can leave Thomas at running back one with that forced pass play because he does go deep as the second deep guy up top, but... Uh, might open things up, but if he wants to switch it up, he certainly can switch it up and read on the bottom, see what he picks. And he has a call play, so Mike Golick, who was on uh, Saved by the Bill of College years. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was Mike Golick, not Bob Golick. Anyway, any time left, two seconds, two ticks left on that incompletion, so he's got one more chance to not get his play picked. Third down and 20 here. This goal has his own radio show. He's got a chance here. Avoid the rush for another moment here and let it fly. Juan's on to read. He's the guy you want. I don't know if it's going to get all the way there. Does he get the JJ? It can't break away at the 15 3 nothing as we enter halftime. What did you see in that first half? What I don't know what I saw in that first <laughs> half. What, what, uh, what was that? But I, I didn't ex- if you would have said this is a score at halftime between these two teams, I yeah, I wouldn't have guessed this one. So uh, a lot of missed opportunities for sure. Some fumbles and poor special teams play. We'll just call it that on both sides. Uh, but uh, I think both teams probably fortunate to still be within a score of this game. I think we did see a few. In fact, nice return by Mueller, uh, as we agreed upon. Uh, Bill's still in <laughs> good now. there. I, I think you have some, you know, on top of all of this, because you, you, you've got the limited playbook, especially for the Bills, you don't necessarily have the familiarity of the plays and their effectiveness. Uh, this you're, you're looking at a situation where players are unable to, to, to bend the playbook to the, the strengths of the team. And if you don't Absolutely. have that muscle memory, Thomas, of the, you know, I actually like that. In that situation here, we look at there, there's 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 a possibility they could, he could look at too. If you were to put a faster player uh, like a Lofton um, or Andre Reed, just just oh, there's a fumble there. 
But s something that would make that run four viable, he may not be able to sit there on with that L with that LB four. It'd be a risk factor. He'd have to pick one. But now now he can just go for the running back. I know that takes your best threat out of the passing game, but right now Miller's not getting it done. Miller's not getting it done. Yeah, I mean, you could even think about Andre Reed back there too. Uh, I mean, you hate to use him for just one play, but uh, it would certainly mix things up. Well, it, 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 you wouldn't see so many called plays, I think. But fourth down and eleven. Sometimes you gotta get creative, and that's kind of the goal with these themes: is to break out of your comfort zone with Tecmo, um, and kind of roll back to this. Is a lot of us as kids never changed playbooks? We didn't know we could, uh, or at least you found out later. And that one kid that always beat you. So, out to the twelve yard line, first and ten for Hank the Tank. Barnett's in good. Jackson still Barnett could bad. go to running back. Certainly could be an option. Calvin Williams isn't doing anything back there. Sherman now and even the Sherman hitter is in, in worse. <laughs> is he, it's almost low white car, uh, territory there with that ball control. Yeah, definitely not an option there either. Just really needs to mix it up. If he even just ran a little bit to keep him on, it looks like he might here. Nope. Oh, nice cross field completion. Throwing a dart as QB Eagles. And Hank the Tank's got a first down. We've seen him move the ball in huge chunks, but just unable to finish the deal. It's true. He's had some big plays for sure. Uh, just needs to avoid. Oh, gets the bump down. after the avoidance and now moving around with QB Eagles. Huge run so far. Zigging, zagging. Can he complete this one? 10, 5, end zone, touchdown, Hank the Tank. That was an impressive run. He needed to finish that one and um, fortunate there. And then. Another epic tap off there, but uh, uh, <laughs> finally another chunk. But he finished the play. He finished the play. He did what he needed to do, and um, uh, obviously Scotty needs to learn from his brothers just to tap a little bit faster. Um, it, really, you think about it, it changed the outcome of this game at this point. Uh, but still, um, great play by Hank, and now the Bills need to find some offense and answer. I agree. Hands up in chat for uh, Hank's touchdown and his epic tap off win. <laughs> Oh, you got to be careful. That run one is just a liability. You're going to fumble almost every time the way he's been playing it. You know, e even just swapping Thomas and uh, Mueller in that situation, a, a dive with Thomas up the middle, um, you know, it's, it's tough. But you, you're just yeah. looking for ways to get creative to get Joyner off the spot. Here comes Thomas. At least you make it a 50-50 affair if you're diving on the on the, the guy running up the middle. So first down and 10. That off-tackle runs work pretty well. And, uh, you should you know, throw it in there every once in a while. Scotty Weggs underneath the reed. And another first down as we enter the fourth quarter. Wow, that happened quickly. 7-3. to three. Hank the Tank over Scotty Weggs driving here. Currently in Eagles territory. And that run two is here again. And this could be a scoring opportunity. Here he goes, zigging, zagging, and taking down to the 25 first down Scotty Wegg. He's unable to finish that. Yeah, you'd like to see him finish. Oh, my goodness, I saw an excellent in there. Excellent QB Bills. Jeez, uh, that, that's great. But uh, you, you got Thomas. You got him, the man defender out of the picture. You got to finish against two computer drones, and that's the difference. Here's your pass one call before. See, he did this before he ran right into that. Crossfield has got to cover catch. Reed, 10-5 end zone touchdown and this is the high power teams you got that excellent QB Bills coming into play when in doubt throw it to your stud well you know I guess he wanted to first shake off the coverage on the running back before he found the open guy there uh, but yeah almost ran into a sack and uh, obviously just chucked it I think once he got off of that uh, that grapple uh, to avoid getting sacked but uh, fortunate for the covered catch uh, when your quarterback that's that elite is an excellent. There's not much you can do wrong um, except take a sack. So uh, big play, big break for the Bills, uh, but plenty of time here for the Eagles. All right, back to it. Hank the Tank trailing 7-10 in the fourth. Plenty of time here. He just needs to get the ball up and down the field and out of bounds at the 18, second and six. Should be very content to grind here. Um, just got to avoid the pick plays, but plenty of time to grind this away. Pass two, buying time, juking around, gets a tap off again. This time gets the first down, can't get that second breakaway. 
but it converts your third 302 tech one time remaining here and now in the shotgun formation on the top hash mark. And fortunate this is bounce off. Four. Go ahead. No, I'll just say this is past four. Go ahead. Yeah, I think just a fortunate bounce off there. Uh, I think great to grind the ball here, but I think getting out of bounds at any possible time would be advisable. Another call play. Wegs Adamas in the head of Hank the Tank, and he still gets a completion on him, first and 10. Yeah, I think he's just sitting on a few, and he doesn't really have to worry about three of the run plays at all, so um, I can't blame him. Pass three is a call. It's called again. He's got to learn that thrash hot route. Yeah, the hot routes would be really handy on that play. Uh, it's kind of tough to stop, even if you pick it, if you, if you use it right, but um, so far it's been effective when uh, he's been picking it. QB Eagles dancing around, buying time, being harassed, going up to Fred Barnett, who I don't know if he's still in good condition, but he's got the completion inside the 10 in the red zone. First and goal for Hank the Tank. Time ticking away. Not much else Scotty Wags could do there. I, I think that was really well defended and a uh, big chunk for the Eagles, but how do they do with the time management here? Here's a sweep to the bottom, the rare Robert Drummond run. Second and six. If anything, it takes a little bit of time off the clock. Well, the offensive line for the Eagles is not holding up down low either. Here comes QB Eagles and wide open, completely uncovered. That's a really tough spot to be in there, running at the top against QB Eagles or stopping the stationary, your best receiver standing till still in the middle of the end zone. So QB Eagles with the touchdown. Yeah, you really got to pick your poison. I, I'm all for going at the quarterback there. And worst case, uh, they don't get rid of it in time, or maybe they you're able to knock it down, uh, but uh, not much you can do. Here comes Mueller. Actually, plenty of time to respond here if you can get... If you want to go back and be... I, I don't think you're going to grind it here. You're going to have to... There's, there's no run three here that's that's going to take it to the house. I, I'd like to leave in Thomas at running back for now. Um, you can sneak in a run to get more space or use... Ooh, that, Kenneth you know, Davis. Well, uh, well, hey. Let's see if he remembers to bring his helmet on the field. <laughs> oh, wait. That was Thurman <laughs> Thomas. What's going on here? Oh, man. Kenneth Davis We're didn't do beaten. jack shit in Green Bay when he was here. The Forrest Gregg years. Well, well, Davis is in. He's getting playing time now. Let's see if he calls a play for him. I'd like to see a run. Pro set formation, top hash mark, 53 seconds, second one time. Here's pass one. Going for it. And almost taken down in the back of the end zone. Wants Thomas. And it is covered, double covered, incomplete. I mean, I think you got to hit Reed. Yeah, I, I'm fine with either Reed or Thomas speed wise. I just like to see them get a little more space. That's why I would have maybe liked to run on first play here at Merritt. And here it comes. This is the play action here. No, oh, yes. Okay. So it's got a one, one receiver Throw route. It. Oh, you got to let it go. Throw it. Throw it. These nuts got him. 10. Five touchdown ball game, Scotty Wags. Oh, unbelievable! I uh, I thought you should have thrown it sooner because you know that he kind of he ends that route and he kind of cuts towards the middle of the field. But what do I know? That <laughs> oh my gosh, gets the big play, and I, I don't know um, why why he blitzed there. If, if he knows that's what the play is, it's it's not going to go all the way to the end zone. So just stay back um, and win the taps if you need to. But wow, what a wild one! Unbelievable. Yeah, I think, again, the, just a lack of comfort. How often do you see that play in a playbook? Not very often, right? So, right, yeah. Obviously, there, there are better plays. Um, at least that's a general consensus when you play modifiable playbooks. That's not our theme this week. So, Hank the Tank drops a, a heartbreaker after a really impressive drive just moments before. So, Scott O'Egg is with the victory, 17-14. Any other thoughts on this one before we close her out? No, I, it's a yeah, tale of two halves, really. The uh, first half was just a comedy of errors on both sides, and then um, both guys kind of found their groove in the second half, and whoever had the ball last wins, which you would think would be the case in this matchup, and it ended up that's what it was. Well, excellent call on your end, my friend. Everyone stay tuned. We'll have another game for you soon. Coach. Hey, Coach, oh. those guys just took off with all your cold, refreshing cores like. Who do they think they are? They are who we thought they were. They are who you thought they were? Well, who do you think they were? They are who we thought they were. Okay. Well, 
If you knew who they were, why didn't you stop them? We let them off the hook! Ross Brewed Coors Light, official beer sponsor of the FL. Coach, those guys that took your Coors Light, they went that way. Those guys are toast. And we are back. Tecmo Super Bowl fans, Trojan 1979 here in week three. They are who we thought they were. We let them off the hook. Viking Mo doing battle with speed. We have default playbooks. That is the modifier this week. And you can also put any position in the running back spot. So whether it's a running back, wide receiver, tight end, you can move the players around as you see fit this week. Welcome back, fan favorite. My friend Eric Coleman of the booth. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Can crack open a Bud Light Lime. I know that's a little early, but uh, this is an afternoon game for me, so I don't want anything too heavy at this point. All right. Going with the Miller Light here, staying away from the Rona. Let's get into this one. Viking Mo and Speed. We have the Steelers and the Jets. Why don't you break it down for us? Well, players wise, uh, I've actually never played Viking Mo, but I know he's a, a really good player. Um, he'll have the tap advantage here. Speed relies on his timing route JJ's. As far as the teams go, uh, these are two teams that are more defensively based. Um, you can tell Viking Mo called this matchup to try to limit Speed's ability to throw timing routes. Um, I kind of expect a Viking Mo to, to run the, the table on this one, but we'll see how old Speedster does here. Baxter on the return out to the 10-yard line. Let's take a look at the playbooks. Yeah, uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to these. I know you got play three there, play four in the passing game are plays that are somewhat familiar. So the one thing here versus maybe a, a matchup with the Bills and the Eagles, which is we've seen already in this uh, prior broadcast, there's no strong LB4. Hinkle is not going to blow up run one and run four. And we have an overthrow there, third down and 13. You can get away with playing Hinkle. I mean, but there's so many other options on the Steelers. I really feel like there's only one. Uh, you got run two and run three that could work. So I really think the Jets are down to four plays that are uh, ones that are you're not risking an interception there on a called play. Punt time on uh, three and out. And this is going to be completely different style for Speed. Speed's used to throwing timing out. So this is this is going to be a, a whole new ball game to him. So. Um, I think this favors this is, this style favors Viking Mo, but if we got it on broadcast, it's going to be closer than what I would have thought. Even though I I like the speedster, he's a cool guy. Uh, just this doesn't favor him in my opinion at all. So here I'm looking at I like play one you can get away play two. Oh, Steelers got a few plays there in the running game that are not bad. Going with pass three right away here. This nice formation. Oh, he wants gets the yep force the throw. Yep. Uh, play past two, past four, past three uh, is super predictable because you know what's coming. You can play Clifton. It gives you an advantage there. So here we go. Clifton on defense. It's cold run three. Nowhere to go. Fumble. Oh, and fumble. Scoop and score. Dennis Bird, rest his soul, scores a touchdown. Drink it up. By the way, cheers to you and yours. By the way, if you could help us out here, forgot to mention... We're trying to get up to six, at least 60 concurrent viewers. This is a Gamers Tech 16-bit HD console. And if we get up to 60 players, we just need someone to mention Gamers Tech in chat. Go ahead and start sharing this thing out on social media. Get people into this, this broadcast right now. 64 players in the tournament itself. We all hit that share button on whatever social media platform, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. Let's get some eyeballs in here. If we hit 60... Someone in chat's getting this bad boy. Back to the action. 3 nothing game. Excuse me, 7 nothing game here. Speed over Viking Mole. I do expect that a lot of scores are going to be the result of uh, turnovers because of the style. Oh, no. McMillan is there. He's we're playing here. The yep, there, He's... There's another one. There's going to be a lot of those turnovers because you don't have anything where you can throw the ball away. You have to just throw it into two teams that have the ability to JJINT. Well, speed with the break here uh, right after that other break. That scoop and score fumble. And going back and be here, Woodson, O'Brien. Maybe going for the Wisconsin Badger, Altoon. Let's it fly. 
And he's got the diving oh, CC touchdown. <sighs> Speed taking a two touchdown lead early. It's 13 nothing. You know, I'm not surprised that we're seeing back and B. I know it's speed, which increases the probability of that. But just in general, you know, it's going to be hard to have long drives with these playbooks, you know, without getting your play called or taking chances on plays that are going to get called. Uh, but, man, if you're Viking Mo, you were in perfect position there with Rod Woodson. I'm going to reposition you because because you, you slid over in our original frame here. So I'm just going to make that quick change. So you can see yeah, your I'm sure everybody wants to see my face. ugly mug. Look at that. Front and center. There he is. Hi. <laughs> Gotta have our Riddler face. So Bell dancing around. Nice rook. Oh boy. This Dick is unbelievable. Bell. Really nice job ju job juke. Ah, I can't speak. Viking Mo now using that blocker. And oh look as <laughs> the first quarter expires 14-0. Uh, that looked like it could have been a lot worse than it was there for speed uh, that the drone finally caught up. Yeah, and, you know, honestly, if, if you're speed, he's staying in bounds. That's another chance for a fumble again. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Conditions, you got Mike Malarkey. That's a bunch of malarkey. He's in good hey condition. Thanks for everyone who's watching. Appreciate it. Hang with us here. Continuing on, second quarter here. Trojan with Deriddler. Got a 14 nothing game here. Viking Mo trailing speed. Weak side open running coming. Tim Worley down to the bottom. Speed's gobbled up. Past the 50 to the 49 out of bounds for Viking Mo on a first down. So the, really the first significant play on offense for Viking Mo. Yeah, with linebacker two there, you got to go straight and you can't go at an angle. Um, you can get right in the backfield there. He was trying to popcorn a guy to free up. Uh, but that's the risk in doing that. Well, execution there of play two, which is run one rather, uh, and Bird just unable to really get play there. action. I feel it. I feel it. Oh, dang. You're not Nostradamus. You're the Riddler. <laughs> Gotta know your superpowers. I do. Oh, another oh, fumble bouncer on, picked up by yeah. the Jets. Get on the bounce, kids. I Nostradamus talking about turnovers. Talk oh, another drink for that. Fumbles and. Oh, boy, I need those. another beer then. Chaos galore. Here we go. 14 nothing. Speed has an opportunity to really put his foot on the throat of Viking Mo here in the second. Top hash mark pro set formation. Woodson on defense. Bitch. He's got the outside pitch to Blair Thomas. Avoiding and well, there's a pack of drones. I just would have got a bounce if I was him. Second down and 10. Yeah, man. This Jets playbook. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a rough one. This is what we played growing up. A lot of us never changed our playbooks. Uh, if you played the uh, the season where you, you played as every every game, yeah. you kind of took what they had. Others the it took triple, even longer. The triple pitch into the flea flicker. That was always the one that you got to talk the trash on. I remember. Yeah. Was it Minnesota had that one? I Minnesota, San Diego, I think New Orleans all kind of have some of the trick 'em dick 'em. Uh, gotcha. I even think uh, our friends uh, the. the the Cardinals and Packers have some some fun stuff too. I don't oh, think they have the Cardinals. I don't remember. At least the reverse, anyway. Because it was always we always had Ray G. Biv for Ray Green for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> the things you remember as a kid. Yeah. Well, oh, I got, I, what we I don't remember is condition checking taking this long. Um, speed not living up to his namesake here, going through the conditions. <laughs> Are you having fun yet in chat, folks? We've had some pretty exciting games already. Uh, I think of the Jets, the only one that we had. We had Toon Time. We still use that one. That was the only big pun for this team that I can think of. Remember, avoid the Lloyd on the Steelers. <laughs> All right, back to the action. Bottom hash mark pro set. My beard's a little bit longer after that delay. Yeah, man, I need another turnover. Going with Tony Eason, former Patriot. <laughs> Sideline reporter, someone uh, having fun right there. Oh, just oh. over Toon's head. He had a chance to get that JJ there. Third down yeah. and 10. Two loud parents. I mean, I'll be shocked if we don't hear more uh, out of the, this, the younger. The youngest is a family is friendly though. thing as far as uh, when we broadcast it. Uh, and when it's not, then, then the language comes out. Uh, thank you, Ed Pivos. Uh, Hardy Dickerson with the sack, fourth down and 14. Fast, Ed. 
There was nothing fast about him and I getting set up to broadcast. I'll say that right now. <laughs> it was drama filled. Here comes the punt. Pro cop. And this looks like it's going to be in the end zone, and it is, or out of the end zone. Holy smokes. So, kids, you always want to try to kick that in bounds so that there's a chance of a fumble because the defenders are on crack. Here comes a weak side open formation. Potential yeah, for a... He goes Little with the break. run, gets the tap. 19, nice job, Viking Mole. That's a new high for me. I don't think I've ever seen him hit that. It's like, this is the only chance for offense I have. i got to tap my fingers to the bone. <laughs> Kyle Clifton on defense. Here's run three. That had been called a few times. Speed getting a, a decent, you know, taps. He's not slow there. Second down and three. Yeah, he had 14 there. I didn't think speed was more than a 10 11. I mean, I haven't played him enough, I guess. I'm waiting for that play action off of this to come up. And it's oh, he called it. Nope. Oh. Of course, it's always a liability when you have that because you lose control. You can't get rid of the ball. Against the secondary, you may not want to anyway. Yeah, I'm not even good at recognizing what the plays are because I'm so unfamiliar with them. Well, with the scramble, gets the first down. He's easily in field goal range for. I'm sorry, Gary Anderson. Thank you. Uh, weak side open formation again. And there's a run again. Oh, the drone misses, and this is an no opportunity. Pop. Zigging, zagging. Yep. Here comes Warley. Got him with the bump. Going to get real close to be. Touchdown. Wow. All the way house call. I don't know what happened to Speed's defender. I thought he was going to catch up, and then he certainly he got wasn't hit there. again, I think. Uh, Tim Whirlybird. That was another one we had. <laughs> Remember the fair ride, the Whirlybird? I don't think. We, we have the uh, Bay Beach here in Green Bay. We don't have anything yeah. called the Whirlybird. Yeah, well, yeah. I, li I love living farm country when I was growing up. So the county fair. And it was like a ride that would go around in a circle, one of those th make you throw up rides called the Whirly Bird. It also spun around in circles. Yeah. Well, great run there by Viking Mo makes th makes this interesting. It easily could have been twenty one seven with that that throw before we saw. And one chance for a heave, you know, he's not going to have no, a lot of just punt the dang thing. <laughs> just punt it. Don't even risk it at this point. Here comes a blitz. Well, six seconds, you should be able to let it go. I'm just saying he's going to blitz you. Yep. <laughs> Turn over. Oh, I wanted it to be returned for a touchdown. That just to show funny. you how, how that playbook makes it so it's not even worth it. <laughs> Welcome to halftime, 14-7 speed leading over Viking. Mo, what did you see in that first half? I uh, saw turnovers put speed in the lead. Um we really didn't have too much of long drives. I mean, Viking Mo had a few long runs that made for his touchdown. Uh, I still think it's going to keep coming down to turnovers here. Bell out of the end zone to the 10. 15 out of bounds at at least sort of the 20. First down and 10 here for the Steelers. And one thing I had seen in a few games, I think players were afraid to reconfigure their actual default like player lineups too and, and just to recap that certainly was not uh, uh, communicated that way it was just default playbooks you can put your players wherever you feel like obviously when you're restricted by those plays we feel that giving the option to put the players where you want gives you a little more versatility but uh, Malarkey is still in good uh, what does Viking Mo need to do to get back in this one I mean he's uh, he really just got snake bit with those turnovers and a, and a deep CC. So I think Viking Mo just keeps doing what he needs to do. I remember the Jets kick returner if he does score is not going to be able to get a bounce cuz he's so freaking slow. Uh I don't think we saw much configuration changes here because the receivers aren't have no speed either. So uh, kind of limited on this. Versus my matchup I had the Dolphins I used Clayton Duper there as is a running play backs. action. So that was that was different. I won't tell you the result of that game because who knows if it's making the stream or not. If it involved you, probably not. No, I'm just kidding. I don't I have to look at the <laughs> score. Um, so, Bird. Blitz, yep. Because you know what play it is. Don't give him a chance with... Oh, 18 uh, to 17. Both these guys found turbo controllers. I see that. Because, yeah, right there you can blitz because you want to force Pittsburgh to make quick throws. Here's run three. Yep. Here we go. 
Drone, drone Hill. support is really good there. Third down and 15. That's a downside to that play is you can often get drone help on that play, I feel. Again, going with the pass three, which opened up this game. And so this is probably going to be a back and B situation. That's the other reason to potentially Oh, and blitz. deflected. I just think it's going to be really hard to score long drives, so don't let them throw the back and B. Here we go. You know the Jets punt return is not getting out of bounds here. Good punt inside the 20. Hard to get away here. Yeah, the Jets return men are so slow. And taken down just past the 25-yard line to the 26. Eason's in good. O'Brien's in bad, so Eason will probably remain in the game. It's not a big, big difference there anyway. See if you can get a boost from Johnny Hector going into good condition here. Rob Moore's in good. I mean, it's 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 not all doom and gloom. Uh, what we're seeing, is Speed hasn't really tried moving the ball with the QB either. Like there, there's, he's kind of just backing it up, and and you got to be able to play that dink and dunk game. You have to be a complete technical player to be able to play with default playbooks. Let's see if he can make the adjustment. Call play. Oh, and it is intercepted. Yep, what the double tap the hot route, and here comes Rod Woodson, popcorn to fools. <laughs> And now we're oh, yeah. in business if you're Viking Mo. So I just completely disagree with you. I don't think you can dink and dunk with the default playbooks. Uh, I did call that out again. I said, you know, the, there's no way to throw away the ball with these playbooks. So you're going to see a lot more turnovers. Oh, hey, I do get a drink, though. Thanks. Thanks for that speed. Appreciate it, Ben, a while. I don't care if we agree or not. We both got to drink together. That's what matters. Hey, we're Americans. We should America. be able to disagree, verb, you know, and 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 debate things. If everybody believed the same, we'd be communists. If everyone believed the same thing, we'd still be playing a four-player uh, Tecmo Bowl. <laughs> Man, look at the speed of Warren Williams. Sarcasm. In, <laughs> but he, he's Russia. still busting through for 15 yards, so. though. Right, it's a nice game. Incommonist Russia. Tecmo plays you. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't, yeah, have, I don't have many voices. But... Stick with the one that God gave me. Bell on a call play, nowhere to go. Second to go from the two. This guy's got the Russian accent. I just can do it. That's better. Yes. This is how we do things in Russia. Seriously, call another one of his plays, Nostradamus. They're down in three. <laughs> Nostra speed. Third down and goal from the three. 26 seconds, take one time remaining in the third. Two down territory, I think. He has a chance versus field. Oh, gets tries to go for the dive to speed. I think if he got behind him, he might have stopped him short. Richard Bell with the touchdown, and we're about to have a tie ball game. Yeah, that, he was in a tough situation there because when he cut back, he kind of loses his speed a little bit because he doesn't have time to do a whole circle. If he circles, he's going to lose his speed. He's going to be able to pop, go in there. So that was just a nice play by Viking Mo. 14-14, your score. And All right, good drink. All right, here's a kick return where he can't get out of bounds again. Take this one. Oh, what are you doing, Speed? My goodness. It really seems to be raining shit on Speed. <laughs> well, Speed got all the luck in the first quarter, and now it's now it's coming back to him. Tecmo giveth, Tecmo taketh away. All right, put your fours up, fourth quarter. Share it out yet? Console being given uh -huh. away. 60 viewers, give me, and I'll give this away. It's not even my channel. I'm giving it away. Hey, you got Sideline Reporter behind you. Who we got? Who we got? Hi, Ab. That's my oldest. Hi, oldest. Very, rare, very rarely shows up in the stream. It's usually the, the youngest that uh I don't want to be famous. It's, 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 it's that IG uh, our culture we're in now. Oh, I'm, speaking I'm, of which. All oh, the, the famous Tecmo players. Taking down the 10, second down, and three. All right, this is big here. You just got to get a first down or two, at least get out of this back backwards part of the field. Runs get the ball. Hector. There you go. Gets the marker and more, and finally taken down. So I think if you're Viking Mo, you're going to let him do that as long as you keep him from scoring. Eventually, he's going to put the ball on the ground. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know, but he had to get the first down here. He had to give him some room to be able to back up and do what speed does. 
Fumble. There, oh, there you no. go. You called it. Oh, is there another drink? Oh, this might be a double, Trojan. Oh, that's a house double, ball. Double! Double! Oh, touchdown! That should, should be a chug. That's a chug. Ready? Go. She's gone. Chugged until I got to the... Oh, uh, that's wow. a rookie move. Ah! Step those numbers up. 21 to 14, Viking Mo. Three unanswered touchdowns. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. No. Your, 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 your sideline reporters are more than welcome. All right. So that's that a was cutie huge. Pie. I mean, we, we have called all the things that have happened here. We are Nostradamus. And I, I have not watched about... this. I want to be very clear. I have not watched this. Uh, we're seeing this live. Yeah, I, I talked about that. Turnovers are going to be huge in the game, and they've resulted in the points. I talked about how the Jets' kick returners are – they have no speed to get out of bounds. We talked about how called plays were going to be something that was going to lead to turnovers. Now let's see what uh, Speed's got in him in his bag of tricks here. The run three really doesn't hurt that much. He's got run two here. Thomas – was in good condition if memory serves. He does get his first down here. Was, Hector was. Is Thomas too? I, I didn't I, see it. I, I knew Thomas was at least earlier in the game. Uh, if you saw in chat, okay. let us know. We don't use condition checker in this tournament. If you do, I yell at you. Yeah, this is a situation where the Steelers' defense really sets up good for the Jets' playbook too. And stop let it those fly here. plays. Here we go. This is what you got to do, Speeder. Al Toon, is it two time? Here we go. And yeah. intercepted. Oh. And that might be all she wrote for speed. Popcorn oh, for Get out of bounds. What are you doing? He, he's, he's got the goat. He, he, he's, <laughs> he's feeling strong right now. Don't even look at Brister. What are you thinking? 25 interception at this point in the game. Don't even look at him. He could be an excellent. I'd be like, forget you, Bubby Brister. Well, this another ball, turnover. I'm out of beer. <laughs> I have. Oh shoot! I have just a little bit. I'm gonna finish it off. I'll hold it up I, though. I'll approach this, you. I can't this get ball. Drink. Honestly, should not go in the air. All right, for the top hash bar, cold play out of. Oh, Trice got a bounce. Can't even in good yep, conditions. That's perfect. Yep, yep. Making use time out. Yeah. There you go. Cut down. Get out of bounds. Tap off. No, I would take probably – I'd either take a run here or take shotgun forward and go sprint backwards. You just got to get to about 30 seconds left so you can punt out the clock. From the top, hash mark pro set. Not being there rushed. I think that's a mistake. Yep, oh, perfect. Good. No, what are you throwing it for? Well, he's got the JJ, so there it yeah, is. Got it. Yeah, but, you know, Strom, overthrow, yada, yada, yada. Game's over now unless he does something foolish. And there's a run. Whirl, keep it in the middle, but plenty of room. Out of bounds here. Um, he can do whatever he wants here, except for that play action. Yeah, I just I win the game. <laughs> I wonder if he'll go for three at the end. Like that play right there? That's not smart. Viking Moe's a smart guy. Like, the only thing that can happen out of that is bad news bears. That's all right, though. Didn't well, hurt him. Here's your punt. Here's the end of the game. 21-14 Viking Moe over speed. And a 21 unanswered point comeback. Um, Yeah, speed just kind of got the screws put to him after the first quarter. Well, yeah, I mean, it was not speed style uh, playbook there or team, so he was double screwed there. Uh, he got the early luck there, but Viking Mo just kept doing what he does. And, uh, you know, it's just not a good style for speed, but we'll see what happens, who he gets the next one. You know, winning the toss made a big difference for this game. It's a kind of matchup I would call even if we had regular playbooks against speed. So good job, Viking Mo. Speed, keep your head up. Get him next time, big guy. It's, he may or may not like next week's matchup, but if he gets the matchup call, <laughs> uh, you know what's coming. We'll we'll kind of leave it a mystery here for the uh, the viewers that don't uh, normally watch this. But uh, 
uh, he, he'll he'll be in a better place next week, hopefully for so uh, for for his uh, play style. So uh, Viking Mo with the victory, twenty one fourteen. Thanks Riddler, and we'll be back with another game. Right, sounds after this. good. Bye guys. And we are back, Tecmo Time, week three, continuing the theme of they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. Got a matchup between Deridler and Sammy Smith, 33, welcoming into the booth, color commentator, founder of the channel, Tom Stanky, the retro sports gamer. How you doing? I'm doing great, Troy. We got a matchup with two opponents I'm familiar with. The Riddler knocked me out in the Elite Eight at Detroit Tecmo Kumite and Sammy Smith, 33. We just had a Easter showdown on my channel where I beat him 2-1 to one with the Lions. It was a crazy game, too, where he won on a field goal I blocked with a Hilgenberg uh, run for a touchdown to end the game. So I'm looking forward to see these two guys duke it out. I love and hate that that kind of chaos is built into this game. It's, it's something special when it happens, <laughs> yeah. depending on what end of it you're on. I mean, if you watch sports, though, you watch football, like, that's how sports are. Like, and unexpected things happen all the time so the fact that it's built into a game that like Tecmo Super Bowl that came out this long ago and we still see all these surprises it's it's incredible so just uh hitting on the if you're just joining on this particular game or coming in late into the broadcast default playbooks they are who we thought they were that means you got to go into the game with whatever the game has assigned to those teams by default uh, you can move around your players in any any configuration you want, which includes the bypassing the normal restriction of wide receivers and tight ends and running back spots. Uh, so you can put them in RB one, RB two, and and carry the ball with, um, you know, in this case, uh, we'll see. We've got teams where that could actually come into play: Miami Dolphins and the Chicago Bears. By the way, Trojan, I'm up here. Tom, wave high down below there. That, 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 that's your cue to wave, yep. Uh, yes. And, and so we do have that that whole configuration thing. But before we get deeper in, um, just kind of uh, retreading this a little bit, we want to get more eyeballs in this. We know with all everything going with COVID, a lot of people are locked indoors. They can't do much. Uh, we want to get more eyeballs uh, on Tecmo Super Bowl, the community at large, let them know that, hey, there's an opportunity to enjoy this game that we all grew up with. And even some of us are passing on to the second generation uh, in learning. I mean, in fact, I've had my son at your tournaments and other tournaments. It's something that we love to pass on. So if you think there's someone that you know would enjoy this, we'd appreciate it if you want, wouldn't mind sharing this out on social media. If we get to 60 concurrent viewers during this broadcast of this week's theme, we will send this console to one lucky person in chat who mentions the that they shared it mentioned gamers tech something to that effect will make sure that you have an opportunity this plays super nintendo games in high def as well as composites whether or not you want to use a crt or high definition if you're in the continental united states we'll go ahead and get this sent out to you if we hit 60 viewers so help us do that you're on instagram twitter facebook whatever you're on share it out get some eyeballs on this today so let's get back to now that we're done with that let's get into the game itself dolphins and the Bears, raise me if you got them, break down this matchup for us, Tom. Well, this is a really even matchup because both teams have a strength on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, Miami's is the passing game with Dan Marino and his laser passes and good receivers, and the Bears is in the run game with Neil Anderson and Johnny Bailey. So even though it, there is a restrictions on playbooks this week, there's no restrictions on where you can put the players. So you can put Duper at running back. Same thing, you can put Neil Anderson wherever you want to put him. Um, and you could see already that uh, the Riddler has Duper and Clayton and this is running backs. And running to the edges. Here we go. Marino hands off to Clayton. His mama call him Clayton. And he gets the bump. Breaks another tackle. Breaks another. Zigging and zagging. Carrier trying to catch up. Past the 50 and out of bounds just outside the 45-yard line. First down for Riddler and a great way to start this one. Big run for Clayton. The reason he has those two guys in is, oh, this one's guess. But uh, Duper's a 50 max speed. Clayton's a 44 max speed. That's faster than any running backs they have on the team in average. Now, interesting, that both of those outside plays are susceptible to Singletary. Going up to Jensen here, does not get the yep. covered. 
catch. Uh, they, it, I think Sammy Smith would have the taps. I could be mistaken on that. This week is a challenge because a lot of people aren't going to be comfortable with these default playbooks. And here you go. I think you got Sammy Smith using the wrong defender. Like you said, on that play, Singletary is going to be your best guy to go in there and uh, try to you know, break up that sweep play. Well, a great run so far here for uh, Deriller, uh, two different times here, and trying to go with Rivera on the outside, nowhere to go. I'll say this, Sammy Smith gets to play with his favorite team, your favorite team as far as uh, the hometown is concerned. I know there's a love-hate relationship with Chicago. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's it hasn't been a great football team for quite a while. Third down and one. From the bottom hash so, mark, go ahead. So, yeah, Marino... You know, that curls play, which you're seeing right now, him pulling off, it's not usually the best play. A lot of people don't use it, but with Marino, it works well because he can dart those in there, even though the passing indicators, you know, uh, are pretty close together with the receivers there. So it was painful to watch when Marino did get the first down with his legs. Goes down to Page with a reception in the <laughs> middle of the field, zigzagging zagging near the goal line out of the two, first and goal. Yeah, Marino picking up a first down with his legs is like watching paint dry for sure. And I guess they call this from the three. It looks like he's on the two, but whatever. Clayton to the outside has a six touchdown. The Riddler. Well executed drive, and there you saw why he was he maybe wasn't using Singletary is because when he did, uh, he ran the up the pl the middle play, which Singletary got popped on. So the playbook is disguised. You will see that stuff, and um. So that's a touchdown for the Riddler. He called his bluff defensively, and he got in there easily. So seven nothing. Uh, Riddler started a new tradition in the last uh, broadcast, if you can call it a tradition yet. Fumble, touchdown, or interception. You got to take a swig. So here's to you. Okay. Is he about to fumble? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They scored a touchdown. The Riddler did. Oh, touchdown! Okay, yeah. So gotcha. we just had a touchdown. We got to we got to make up for it. We, we, we were talking for so long that we didn't uh, yeah. didn't take it, put it down here. Great return by Sammy Smith. Got lost in the mix of all that. Here's pass to Tom Zach. Pass the marker. Excuse the 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 the, the original line of scrimmage. Excuse me. And, and the down six yards. Second down of four. Uh, I'm surprised Sammy Smith's putting Tom Zach in because when I played him in that three game series, he went with Harbaugh the whole time. That's hilarious. Seven nothing. Riddler over Sammy Smith. Speaking of Harbaugh, so going back to your game, which we've already broadcast at this point in the stream, so uh, we can talk about that. But uh, how do you feel about Harbaugh right now? Well, he had one of those great games out of, you know, 10 times that I play the Bears. So what can you say? I I made a, a blitz call at the end of that game to hope that he was due up to screw up, and he didn't. Threw a great touchdown. Lost the game. <laughs> Call play here for uh, Deriller and nowhere to go on fourth down. So, really, um, there's a big risk on fourth down. Fourth and long to take that run one there. Marino's in good now. Sammy Smith has to feel like he has a chance of stopping and slowing down Miami with these defenders, especially in default playbook mode. But The interesting thing about this matchup is, you know, the Bears' defense is great but their fastest player is a 56 max speed. With Marino's passing speed of 81, he's able to beat these Bears defenders to the ball. So if you got a guy who's good with Miami, could zip in those passes, has pass, fast pass progressions, it's really a good matchup for Miami, I believe. Great breakdown here. I'm just waiting, I'm waiting for that really, really slow play action pass. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah, it's fun when you can pull that one off. Oh, he's got Page over the middle diving are the defenders, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown to Riddler. That didn't take long. Here we go. Cheers to you. My Marino is awesome at that route on that play. Laser in there. And no one throws it better than him. Sammy Smith is down 14 nothing, which just happened in the last game we broadcast. Sammy Smith is getting beat down with his bears. What's going on? He must not have dressed up like Dicka for this one. He needs to throw that stash back out. I think that needs to happen immediately. Oh, real quick plug for Sammy Smith 33, which is his Twitch channel, Sammy Smith 33. He's been doing some trivia 
Tech Ball Super Bowl trivia. That's awesome. And uh, he gave a, a twenty dollar PayPal, and I believe Stall Talk won this last one. It was it was pretty fun. He had ten questions. It's all Tech Ball Super Bowl related. So definitely follow his channel. Check out the next one. Well, Sammy Smith, trivia or not, is down by two touchdowns. Has a long way to go. Tom Zach going to Wendell Davis. Here he goes. Nice reception. A huge gain. If I know Sammy Smith, he doesn't believe this game is over. He's got the Bears, and he's going to try to come back and make this as close as possible. Tom Zach doing it with his legs now. Past the marker and out of bounds at the 49 first down, just on his side of the 50. Tom Zach was chugging on the sideline right there. Run four. Ran away from the blocking. I, I think he would have done better just to keep it going up the middle there. Uh, Sammy Smith does not put Neil Anderson at wide receiver usually, and here he's got a big gainer for 15 yards. So yeah, we're seeing he's not enjoying going out of bounds here that much. Uh, he's, he's, he's testing fate. I understand when you get an explosive player like that, but anyway, pass three again. You never know when Tech Mahomes. Oh, nice throw. Got the auto dive from the Riddler. You know, he may, the Riddler may want to consider going with one of the safeties, the jump pick opportunity, but I believe. I guess I passed. Yeah. You'd have to confirm that with me, but I think that they would be better served to stop that. Definitely. I mean, the Bears quarterbacks can be jump picked by just about anybody, I feel like, but. It's a good team to go back with Offered All because you know you can get that interception with his 31 rating. So I don't disagree with it necessarily. Tom Zach through the mud. Wow, nice run. Pass the marker inside the 10 first and goal from the 6. Time is ticking away here in the second quarter. Sammy Smith is executing really well on this drive. I like what he's doing. The way he was hanging around the mud there, I thought he was Bob Sacamano for a minute. <laughs> oh, breaks the wow. tackle. Sammy Smith taking Anderson running the wrong way. It's got to be hard for Sammy Smith, being a Bears fan, playing against the team that has the player that his nickname is named after. This is There's a lot of, like, techmoception going on right now. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's definitely looking to see... Who- what his oh, favorite Buster team back is. of the end zone. He's oh. got him. Touchdown, Sammy Smith. He's on the board. Hit Brad Muster. Brad Muster, he's a utility player, 56 receptions. And Tom Zach throws a perfect one. Low kick here, but it's in. 14-7 on the toe of Kevin Butler, who I learned had to cancel his wedding date plans because they conflicted with the Super Bowl that year in 85. That's pretty bold. Hey, we're going to the Super Bowl. Better move yeah, the wedding well, date now. That was that was that was some balls. Not everyone has that opportunity, so I guess you can always reschedule a wedding. You might not ever be back to the Super Bowl. Is, is which that, they worked. Is that the, the, the equivalent of like taping over your wedding with your favorite football game? <laughs> I mean, I guess it depends if you're a player in it. Like, if you're just a fan, that's pretty bad. Sounds like a Ramos Raymond episode. All right, well, back to this game. Sammy Smith trailing just by seven. He's definitely in this. He has the opening possession versus his field immediately and looks like Riddler's on his back. Anderson, here's the guy you want with the ball to the 40. Oh, I like it. He's going with the the right angle zigzags. This is something you don't see every day. Some good stuff. Good run by Sammy Smith. Huge first down. 3.51 tech with time in the third. What did you see in that first half? Well, I saw like a, a first half that seemed to be dominated by the Riddler, but that uh, strike by Tom Zach late to Brad Muster and that long drive for Sammy Smith really put him in an opportunity to come back and tie this one up. So it's interesting right now. He's got Bailey in that RB2. The blocker came back but doesn't have that hitting power. Um it might make more sense to put Muster in that RB1 uh, one position. Yeah, I see what you're saying, but really you're just trying to get four running plays that have the fastest running backs possible. I mean, that's the other thought. 
I think that's more powerful than having muster back there. And we've got a call play. Tries to go the hot route. He goes to the RB four. Excuse me, RB two. The fourth rotation and no go. Second down and ten. I don't think he's run that pass one bootleg yet, unless I missed it. Yeah, and a correction. It was the RB one on the fourth press on that. But we have a deflected pass and a call play. Third down and ten. The Bears' default playbook really is not that bad. Yeah, that's the reason why I picked certain teams the way I did. You can love me or hate me for it, I guess. And covered receiver there. So field goal attempt for Sammy Smith. Not a gimme here. Oh, Offered all gets in there. He has a chance at a block and he whiffs. Well, there it's it is. 14-10. That was a good kick by Sammy Smith. Playing a lot of oh, online tech lately. Yeah. You really got to make that adjustment in the online tech mode. Sometimes you just pray and hit A whenever, or you just make that lag adjustment. It makes it even harder because the, it moves at a different speed, and it goes up and down more depending how good the kicker is. So that that's what really makes it difficult, in my opinion. So, so I got to ask the question. So the lighting looks a little different than it normally does for you. It looks like you got this big red glow. I mean, did you guys run out of power? Now you're now you're just cooking with fire or whatever to heat the house. Well, it's snowing right now in Chicago. It's April 17th or whatever date it is. I don't know. I lost track of the days. So yeah. whenever this airs, we won't know. It was in April. But, uh, yeah, I got a Jaguar lamp over here that my, my grandpa got me. So I just turned that on, turned all the lights off. I'm going low-key today for this uh, this big-time special between the Riddler and Sammy Smith. 33. I'm just very thankful we're not calling a Washington game right now. <laughs> Well, back to this one. Jim Jensen in bad condition. And speed up the, the play checking, guys. Let's go. I, I don't want a law condition checker, but you can go faster. Come on. No, you know, I don't I don't get too mad about this because this is a, about how the pace I go at. I know some guys blaze through it. Well, uh, you're part but, of the problem. <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, you know what? I don't usually <laughs> check my conditions that often. So... I go games without doing it because my philosophy is if everyone's feeling good, then your opponent doesn't know what the conditions are either. So some truth to that. Usually you could feel it with the running backs mostly. Like that's where I really notice them. Like I know this guy's not as fast as he should be. But I think a lot of times what you're looking for is that quarterback or that receiver that goes into excellent. So you could just start throwing, chucking up bombs. Welcome to me. But this, the, yeah, this <laughs> is, is, this is a little bit extreme. The Riddler, I mean, he's a slow, calculated guy. If you play him at a live tournament even, like he'll take a few seconds to pick his I play. Think, I think he's fishing for a forfeit here. Yeah, this this is something spectacular right now. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to drink. Speed it up. Because... I, need, I, need, I, I need enough for the fumbles or something that's going to happen. There's got to be there's gotta be some magic. They're saving this game for a reason. I wonder what Sammy Smith is thinking Ditka would say about this condition check situation. Oh, thank God. Oh, We're back. Thank goodness. I hope the Tecmo God strike him down for what he just did. Call play. I think you're right. <laughs> El Duper. No, oh, no. no. They reward him with a covered catch first and ten. Oh, that was. That just didn't feel right. Oh, another call play. And he gets away on that one. Yeah, he got back to the line of scrimmage. I felt like it was pretty tough to navigate Miami's playbook. I really don't like that shotgun pass four with the receivers are just way too close to each other. Mark Duper, the cover catch. I mean, he had that guy streaking down uh, the top there that he didn't throw to. But I guess yeah. he'll take it first down and 10 for Derriller. Yeah, I'm really discombobulated with that delay. I got to get back my mojo. Hey, get it back, Gets Troy. The bump. Here comes Troy Stratford and taken down second and four. I do like their, their running playbook, though. It's disguised completely with the split back plays. And here he's going with the pass four. Nice maneuvering with Marino to create space. Just short of the marker, third and one. Reno's one of those guys that doesn't always get away from the drones on those dives and stuff. It can get frustrating. 
there he does a good job. Most technical games take about 15 minutes once they get started. This one is going to take 15 days. Well, the Riddler's in the matchup, and he's thinking about it. And here you go. There is a play action. Just waiting for that to oh. be like a cold fumble scoop score. 14-10. We know the fourth quarter. Real to driving here in Bears territory and holding on to the lead. Oh. Oh, fourth no. Back, Come on. Back so, yeah. That, I mean, this is why, like, you do set, like, hey, just try to check it once per quarter. Because otherwise, you can end up at the screen more so than seeing gameplay. Well, might, might as well start drinking again. Yeah. There's nothing else to do. I should have brought a six-pack for this broadcast. In other, in other news, uh, Biden uh, is now the president. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting political here. Just that much time has passed. Oh, goodness. It's all happening. Uh, we are, we're actually now on a COVID-20. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. And now it's no longer the Rona. It's Rona's. Yeah, I just got to bite my tongue every time I hear about it. It's it's It sucks. But, you know, we hope that this is a, a welcome distraction for those of you that, that, whether you're playing in this tournament or just watching or both, we hope that you enjoy uh, what we try to do here as we get back to this game. Top hash mark pro set formation. Rivera. You know, he tried that earlier in the game, didn't work out too well, and that's led to a big run, and he's got another one out to the 22-yard line. First down, Riddler. I think why you do that, sometimes even if the guy's not really that great of a defender, you get that ghosting through the line. I, I do see it happen even with poor defenders, so that's what he's going for there. So Carrier is slow, as you mentioned. He gets the, the auto dive, and it's still not enough to stop it second down and five. I minutes. thought Carrier was there, and I'm surprised he threw that. He got away with another one. He's been, you know, the, the defense has been there for Sammy Smith on this drive. And, wow, getting breaking ankles with Marino. First down, Riddler. And this is, I feel like this is a flashback to when I did play him in Detroit. Like, he just was dissecting me, like, just with this little stuff. It's, it's tough, you know, when he's running with Marino, he's getting these... These throws in there. And here we got Clayton bouncing to the outside for nothing. Second down and nine. He took a better defender this time to stop it. Second down and, well, we'll see what uh, he can do here. Actually, it's, it's second down and goal, my uh, correction here. Gale band here. This could be big time. And oh, you great know, defense by Sammy Smith. That's tough to do on Marino to time that up. That was really well done. I think he had that burn route at the bottom if he let it go right away. Yeah, I mean, some guys hold on to the ball more. I fall in that category. Been trying to do burners more. Here's Marino with a huge run. Wow. wow. Out taps the drone, gets in for the touchdown. That's unbelievable. Dan Marino. Oh, oh raise him. I'm running out of beer. Man, there's a lot of points in this game. And that that was a drive to the jugular right there. Chewed up so much clock. Sammy Smith played some really good defense at times. He got some covered catches against the Bears defense. You hope you can get a pick, but it didn't happen for him, and now he's got only two minutes to play with. Let's see what he does here. Nice return by Muster. Zigging, zagging, popcorn taken down 153. He needs a quick score. I'm really I was really hoping that he would think about putting Anderson or Bailey at receiver here. Uh, yeah, oh, way boy. overthrown. Game could have ended right there. He's just going with whoever he has at receiver, which is probably Davis and Ron Morris. Gets the bounce. Anderson's there. This might be the break he needed. Let's see if he, he's not doing the right angle zigzag this time. He really needs to take a few. Well, I got to do the math here. No, he needs. Now nah, he needs two touchdowns. My apologies on that. Tom Zach handing off Neil Anderson. 
Yeah, I mean, Sammy Smith needs to just throw it to the end zone here. He's just going to run out of time. It's pretty much he has to score on this play for anything. You know that player two on side doesn't usually happen. Oh, Muster, there's a wow. JJ, well, you called it. It needed to happen, and it happened. Brad Muster with his second touchdown of the game. He's got the hands. So as we know, or some people know, the player two on side is less than a percent of happening. He's not going for it, which is probably smart. He's probably just going for the fumble. Well, he, he got the tackle in bounds is what, what he wanted, but he didn't get the yes. fumble. So, I mean, Riddler can basically punt this here if he wants or however he wants to handle it. Yeah, I mean, that was an easy choice. Only th three Tecmo seconds left. Nothing can happen here. Unless uh, Buster... Roby, it should be in the end zone. Oh, it's not. Okay. So, and there's in the, the game. Yeah, so, nothing. Sammy Smith had a chance there at the end. Uh, just ran out of time. And 21-7 is your score. Driller over Sammy Smith. Any closing thoughts? Well... The Riddler did a great job starting the game and ending it with that long drive in the third and fourth quarter. Once he scored that, I mean, I felt like the game was pretty much over. The Bears aren't a great come-from-behind team, and uh, the Riddler does what he does, and he uh, took care of Sammy Smith and the Bears. Well, thanks for watching. We're going to get another game for you here. Stay tuned. And we're back. Troy with Tom. You get his two times in a row because he runs the channel and I run the tournament. There's nothing you can do about it. Red 98 set hot hot against I'm flow two check Tecmo juggernauts in week three. They are who we thought they were default playbooks. Can't wait to watch this one. These guys got big Tecmo attitudes and they're colliding here in the GB land Tecmo Super Bowl tournament. Been playing Lou a ton in, uh, on, Line and Tecmo Super Bowl, rev trying to revive the TPC a little bit. And I'm Flo, the Tecmo Super Bowl hardcore champion, the first ever. I can't wait for this duel between these two guys. This matchup, of course, Buffalo Bills, Philadelphia Eagles, has been one of the more interesting matchups, uh, just the way the playbooks are done. Normally Philly uh, gives up a little bit to Buffalo in this. But with default playbooks, the tide has turned, and you add the fact that you could potentially run the ball with Keith Jackson. Uh, now you've got more versatility in Philadelphia's arrangement. So let's see how both these players leverage this matchup. Of course, Red 98, uh, also known as Tecmo Lou, getting his hometown team, the Buffalo Bills. Well, Flo loves using the Eagles, so I'm guessing that he called this one. And like you said... Well, Red, Red, default... call, Red called it, but Flo got to pick the, the Eagles. Okay, got Yeah, he likes the Eagles. The thing that he has in this matchup is... You know, Buffalo, the one weakness of their team is their secondary. The interceptions are not very high, so QB Eagles can really just throw up a bunch on the Buffalo Bills. I'm anticipating a high-scoring game here between these two guys. One thing that's going to come into play, too, we saw this previously, uh, if Lowe decides to use Seth Joyner on defense, uh, it's going to really limit what uh, excuse me, Red 98 can do this playbook and will lead to a lot of called plays going for that jj to read he's got him zigging zagging and down the middle of the field trying to get to the sideline he does and well he doesn't get all the way out of the bounds taken down at the 49 yard line of philadelphia first down red 98 well andre reed is the best receiver on the team and you saw it right off the bat lou going for the time jj fights off a drone here jim Got kelly BB. whoa bb at Running back. I wasn't expecting that. It, it seems like Lou's just saying, screw screw the running game. That's what it looks like to me. And you're it's right, because he went to play action. And uh, QB Hill's nowhere to go. Uh, speaking of BB, I hear my third BB uh, making a ruckus upstairs. It look like, that's always fun. Yeah, you might, uh, might have to figure out that situation, but yeah, there was nothing there. I don't know what he was looking I don't think their running playbook the running playbook's not good, but I feel like the second and the third play is is underrated, that shotgun direct snap. 
I would leave Thurman Thomas there for those two plays, but lose not thinking that way. We'll see how it plays for, out for him. Wants that burner to Reed gets a covered catch and taken down right to the goal line uh, from the one, actually, first and goal from the one. Reed's been the star on this drive. Uh, if, if I were Lou, I'd keep, continue to milk that in this matchup. And oh, nice, nice ankle breaker there. Don Beebe getting it done. And Red 98 strikes first. 6 nothing. Hey, raise him if you got him. Yeah, you know what? Since I started playing online more, I noticed that you could really pull off some jukes that you, you aren't able to do necessarily live. And th that was a good move, but I feel like that's one of those times where, I don't know, if it were live, if that juke, same juke would have happened. The jukes are what they thought they were. First down and 10 for Ryan Flo. So the Eagles playbook is, yeah, it's it's better. He's got four very usable passing plays for QB Eagles. Oh, nice, and, man, nice maneuvering around there. He just dodged a shoelace yeah. tackle there. The key, the key running play that he has, though, is that fourth running play with QB Eagles on the sweep. That gets great blocking. That's going to be utilized in this game for sure. QB Eagles moving around. We saw the Eagles used quite a bit last week in the Cats in a Cage matchup. Players could not get out of bounds. The thing to look at is uh, we got Jackson in at uh, running back, Keith Jackson. So he's a 50 max speed. So that will give the Eagles a little bit of a running attack. We'll see if, if the offensive line can hold up besides long. Besides QB Eagles. We'll see if that offensive line can hold up long enough for them to actually get a running playoff. So Lou's going with Tally. Tally's the key defender on Buffalo. Because their secondary is weak, he's got a 44 I, uh, INT rating, which helps. So you want to get him back there in double covered situations. What a great play there oh. by Flo. Dodging the call play rush and lasering it in to a stationary receiver for a third down and manageable here. Oh, he better have called it. He better have called it. That's going to be an easy first down for QB Huge Eagles. Huge dive nice by Red 98. Though. Huge 7 nothing. Red 98 over. I'm Flo, who has the ball and driving in Bill's territory. So sometimes, you know, I predicted a high-scoring game. With the Eagles, you can chew up a lot of clock if you choose to. This is looking like one of those drives. QB Eagles dancing around, and it looks like Red 98 got caught up somewhere and unable to finish the drive is I'm Flo. First and goal from the nine, of course, still hard to keep him out of the end zone. This has been a drive that's cent centered around QB Eagles and his running ability, not so much the passing. Uh, I would look for mismatches if I were Flo when uh, Lou uses Cornelius Bennett or one of the guys that's uh, lower in INT rating. Sweep to the Jackson bottom. sweeping across. Third down and eight. Where are you, Troy? I'm here. <laughs> I, you have you have some good insightful th comments. I don't want to uh, you know, steal a mic from you. Die play right up the middle. Jackson had the blocking. He got away. Uh, he gets away from it, and he's in the end zone. He gets the blocking. He helped popcorn off touchdown flow. Great drive by Flo. Keith Jackson at running back pays off. That's what's awesome about. You know, having the option to put your skilled players wherever you want. Keith Jackson comes through on the touchdown right there. 7-7, seven, seven, your score here in the second. Good game so far. And the, the main concern that, whoop, we lost you there. Are you still with us, Tom? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, I lost your uh, camera. Yeah, Discord went down real quick. Let's see if we could get it back. Oh, boom. All right. Yay, technology. All right. I can't see the game, though. You can't see oh, the yeah, game. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I got it back. Okay. I was like, it's showing me sharing on this side. Hey, technology isn't perfect. We do this in one take after uh, the I'm back. greeting. I'm so, back. good. <laughs> I want to hear you talk more than me anyway. From the bottom hash mark, Don Beebe in the backfield gets the handoff. So he's going to run a little bit. I guess he has to test the waters and wants to take some time off the clock. Second down and six. 
I want to see where Thurman Thomas is and if he utilizes him with this uh, no Thurman at running back situation. I'm guessing is that he's at the uh, wide receiver one position right now. Yeah, the the first drive was like all Andre Reed, so let's see what he does here. Lose a guy who's going to manage the clock. He's going to try to score. Oh, oh. Reed's at top, so it looks like he's got to be at the uh, maybe the tight end position then. I don't know. It just seems like Reed's everywhere and Thurman's nowhere. Oh man, Byron Evans gets in there. Second down and 18, 205 Tecmo time remaining here. Second down and 18 from the 45-yard line of... That's trouble for Reggie White. He's not going to be able to defend that to Reed. The thing about the Eagles is you could switch up the defenders quite a bit because there's no one that's like a for-sure bet. So sometimes that can determine how successful a play is. Just outside of the reach of Andre Reed, just these the precision on these... Quick routes, these quick hitters to streaking wide receivers on the outside. I mean, is there any better pair than the Bunagel brothers at that? Uh, they're pretty good at it. I would say yes. That's uh, that's a, that's a tough duo to compete with. Reggie White on defense. Pass one is the call. Wants the JJ to Thomas. He's got him. So he is in wide receiver two. Looks like, and he gets to the end zone touchdown. Red ninety eight. And that's where I wanted to see Thurman Thomas coming through there at the wide receiver two position. Great time, J.J. throw by Lou. He's getting better and better at those every time I play him. It's 14-7. Red 98 takes the lead. And I don't like it either. Those J.J.'s. I hate them. He must have been playing Thrash or uh, Speed recently. <laughs> I've played Thrash. I haven't played Speed. Yeah, Thrash is really good at those two. Well, 14-7, only 41 seconds of... I've heard stories time. of like guys putting tape on their computer screen so they know where the quarterback's at to time the JJ. Oh, man. Yes, this is a real thing that exists in online techno. Tape on the screen in a live tournament, no can do. But online, hey, it's your house, it's your computer, you can do whatever you want. I just count in my head. I'm a field player. Here we go, QB Eagles. Oh, Guess play down. You know he he's bought a lot of time back there, but just ran out there. Calls the timeout just so he can think about a moment what he I wants to do. I think he was smart by taking that sack because they were coming after him hard because it was a called play, and he wants to get one clean throw off uh, to end the half here. Which if he doesn't guess the play, he'll get with QB Eagles no problem. He'll just scramble around. So pass one's a call, and it's called again. And he's going to throw it underneath, and he's going to get out of bounds here with Mike Quick. So welcome to halftime, 14-7. What did you see in that first half? Well, I saw a well-played half by both players, really. Uh, you know, Flo drained a lot of clock to get that first touchdown. Lou was more like quick action, but he, he, used, he utilized pretty much passing the whole half to get the 14-7 lead. He's doing away with the run. He didn't run too much at all, and there's no running back there that's a threat. Jackson, not a lot of room to go. Of course, the Eagles are a terrible return team on both sides of it, punting and kicking. Barnett's in good. That'll help. So unlike the last game, Flo seems like he's moving pretty, pretty quick through the Substitutions. Take note. We saw the Riddler take a while. A little bit. To do his substitutions. I think he was using dial up to make his substitutions. But now Flo's taking longer than expected, so I take that back. Well, he, he, at least his his <laughs> cursor moves quicker, so it's like the illusion of, of quickness. Speaking of quickness, <laughs> yeah. Mike. At quicker. first it was quick and now it's like going through the whole roster. Oh my gosh. All right, back to the game. Trailing by seven, here comes Flo, pro set, top hash mark. And the die play to Sherman this time instead of Byers. Sherman, of course, the liability of the ball control, 38, second down and four. Yeah, his ball control is a little bit lower. I didn't, I wasn't actually looking at his condition, so he might be in good or excellent. 
And Oof, great Red defensive play by Lou. Crazy taps on him, 15. And, and both these players can tap, so I think the, the, the key is being prepared for it before the engagement. And he ran two plays in a row with the running backs. Cross field. He's got Jackson beats the secondary. You called this earlier. Jackson, not a bounce at the 21-yard line. First down, I'm flow. That was an awesome play. I'll be surprised if he runs with a running back two plays in a row again this whole game. Here's a call play. QB Eagles. He, he got the completion to back. that stationary before, and this time he gets he catches up with him. He's just not able to break away. Not terrible. A little more room to operate here as he's approaching the goal line. And here we got Tally in coverage. That's... It's no surprise. That's who you want to be here. He knows it's a passing play. Tries to force it into Jackson for the cover catch. Does not get a third and 15. Third and 15. This is a huge play to see. He wants to get back most of his yards if he doesn't get the first down. Pass one's the call. It's going to keep it on the ground and get near the marker and be an important fourth down coming up here for I'm flow. Fourth down and three. Smart play, play by flow. Every receiver was defended there. Big fourth down coming up. It's got options. Oh, he could have just ran it and decided to take the risk and throws the ball. And is a turnover on downs, red 98, and said Hut takes it. Yeah, that, that's lead. one he would like back. I'm, I'm not sure what he saw there. Um, you know, sometimes in the heat of the moment, you just chuck one up. Conlin, though, is the guy defending, not uh, not the guy you really want there, but good enough to break up that pass. He definitely could have ran for it. And here we got Lou putting Lofton now at running back. We'll see if that changes anything. Maybe he's got a little bit more speed. Here's the run to Lofton. Loving an elevator. Taken down to the 19. The great thing about this tournament so far is you just see strategies that are unique to this tournament because of the uh, different themes. That's kind of the idea. Hopefully that's working out that way. It makes it interesting to commentate on these games because we know, you know, the normal tournament rules and it's great commentating on those games too, but sometimes the strategies get, uh, get redundant, whereas this, it's all over the place. Don Beebe underneath gets the reception of the first down out of bounds. And moving the chains here with 105 tech with time in the third. Just wants to take what's underneath. Hang on the ball. Kill some clock. There's oh, he did it. He ran this running play, and it's paying off big time. It's a huge risk if you start going to that because you can get that fumble if he goes with Joiner on that play. Now, the thing is, it's not a bad play if you only run it once or twice a game. And you just saw why, because Flo bit on the up the middle and he pitched it outside and he's got the reception to Thurman Thomas all the way cross field great strike by red 98 and you see Thurman Thomas coming through big at their receiver position don't question the player Lou is coming through big with those throws to Thurman Thomas 21 7 your score red 98 extending his lead I'm flow we'll have to try to strike faster if you want any player here with the Eagles down two going into the fourth quarter, two scores that is, it is Flo. I've seen him do some miraculous things with the Eagles. We'll see if he could do it here. Welcome to the fourth quarter. It's go time for Flo. From his top hash mark. Tally is, man, love him in coverage, but now he's running with QB Eagles. That's where he was successful on the first touchdown drive. He's going back to it. I, was, I think you're going to see Red 98 give up on play conservative here and let the time melt away. Going to Jackson cross field, gets the covered catch, tap of time, taken down at the 36, first down for I'm Flow. Yeah. In any single coverage situation back there with those Buffalo Bills defenders, you know, I would risk it. Out of, excuse me, out of bounds uh, just past the 25-yard line. Another first down for I'm Flo. You want to score in the next minute or so because you need enough time to play defense. 
And you could see, like, when a player's back's up against the wall, you really see his skill shine, and you see that right now with Flo. That play was guessed. And um, Buffalo Bills, they have quite the front, so they get there and sack QB Eagles. Single back formation, top hash mark. Looks like probably a pass one coming here. Yeah, let's see. This is where, oh, there's no single coverage, unfortunately. I thought he might try to throw that stationary running back just because of the position of where Red 98 was, try to get that auto dive. We're looking here at third it's, down. It's going to Bennett, might come back to bite him. Oh, He's getting good drone Barnett. coverage. Ooh, nice comeback there by Red 98. And, uh, I, yeah, I like the throw by Flo, though, because it was a single coverage on uh, – Cornelius Bennett to break that up. So more often than not, you make that throw with QB Eagles to that receiver. From the top, hash mark. Call play. Oh, it's taken down. Here's a fumble. Picked up by the Bills. Ray Bentley has it. This is looking grim for Flo. Lou with the hometown team, the Buffalo Bills. He's dominating now. All he has to do is put Flo in the Eagles away. What voice was that? I don't know. Okay. Spur of the moment. It just felt right. There was technically a fumble on that, so I think we have to drink. Oh, yeah. I'm out of beer, so if they score again, I'm screwed. Oh, I did not man. come prepared. You got to get a mini fridge under that computer desk. What are you doing? This is 2020. I'm, keep, I'm keeping all the Gamers Tech consoles. Get up to 60, folks. We give this baby away. 60 concurrent viewers in chat. Let's do it. Back to the game. Just keep, just keep a 30 rack of something under your computer desk and just go to town. With all the games Troy's commentating, it's time for that mini fridge. Thoughts and prayers and maybe some uh, insulin to go with that. We'll see. All right, so Flo did what he had to do to uh, get the ball back. Um, as dangerous as the Eagles are in the passing game, just needs to score within the next couple plays. He could make this one interesting. And it looks like here he's taking a shot here on first down. Over to Jackson. Cross field, he's got him. Oh, not caught. That safety got over. Second down and 10. Come on, Kelso's breaking that up. I don't know. Unbelievable. Moving around, wants Barnett dropped. Needs a touchdown on this play. QB Eagles looking for something big to happen. He's going back. He's throwing a Jackson. He's got him, JJ. Oh, almost lands out of bounds. I want to see Cross the tap off. Nice Doesn't need it. And he's running Man, out of time here, but he's going to go yeah, for here. Point differential that, matters, folks. That needed to happen two plays ago. And Mike Quick into the end zone, just over the line. He gets tackled. That'll be the last play of the game. Makes it interesting. Well, he uh, narrowed the point differential. I don't, don't know if that. he made it interesting, but... Uh, yeah, the I think here the Buffalo Bills and, and Lou... His strategy just came through big and took care of uh, Flo and the Eagles in this one. 21-14, your final Red 98 over I am Flo. We'll have another game for you soon. Thanks for calling this one with me. Back-to-back -back games, Tom. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me do this. It was great to be with you. Awesome. Hang tight, folks. Coach! Coors Light Silver Ticket Promotion. You get icy cold refreshment plus the chance to win NFL tickets. Everybody has a chance to get their bite of the apple. So you're saying everybody gets a chance to win NFL tickets. The rules are fair. Regulations? The regulations are fair. Competitive balance. The competitive balance is fair. Look for the official entry code inside special packs of Coors and Coors Light for your chance to win NFL tickets, even Super Bowl tickets, and more. Is there anything I can't win? High performance helicopter. Welcome back, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. Trojan 1979 here in week three. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Joey Gatz and AZ Slater doing battle. Welcoming back into the booth. Fan favorite. Ryan McCabe, the ultimate weapon. How you doing? 
Doing great, Troy. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. It always is helpful when I set things up correctly. So this is actually take two after about 30 seconds of failure in my end. So um, I'm excited to move forward <laughs> in this one. Hey, you're not a failure, Troy. You know what? All the viewers at home, they need to understand all the work that you put into this. So it's not just done in one take. Oh, my goodness. Well, we try to. Sometimes we hit the mark, sometimes we don't. But um, if you're still with us from the beginning, thank you so much. Hey, quick shout out um, or just uh, a mention if you haven't noticed it. So we have this Gamers Tech get console we'd love to give away to one of the viewers in chat. Our goal this week, uh, we hit 50 viewers concurrently last uh, last week's broadcast. We'd really like to get up to that 60 mark. If we can get to 60 concurrent viewers at any one time during this week's stream, we're going to go ahead and give this away to one of the viewers in chat. So um, just mention, hey, we want that Gamers Tech console. Uh, and and share this out on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever it is that you exist out there, uh, maybe Snapchat, wherever it is that you can share information with people. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for everyone who's been contributing. Uh, we're doing default playbooks. That's what the the are who we thought they were theme is about. Of course, having a little fun with uh, the late Denny Green, uh, one of the, the most epic rants uh, in history for uh for any sport much less just football but washington redskins tampa bay buccaneers and this is the first one of these matchups that we're calling in this week's broadcast redskins tampa bay buccaneers why don't you break down what players should expect when they're watching this broadcast well should i crown one of them now troy or what do you think if you're gonna crown them oh. and crown their ass <laughs> so so the washington redskins and the buccaneers have both have great defensive backfields the redskins obviously have daryl green and martin mayhew at the top and the bottom the buccaneers have wayne haddix up at the top they have robinson at strong safety uh, both teams have decent running backs anderson and biner should be a really interesting matchup a slight qb advantage uh with the buccaneers with testa birdie he has that running ability better passing ability um and then a receiver advantage going to the redskins uh, but not too big of a difference well, I think well, it'll be interesting to see here just how effective, uh, you know, you don't have those great J.J. timing plays, which is you usually see a lot of run and shoot with Tampa Bay. Uh, right. It'd be also interesting to see once a oh, nice run up the middle there, Anderson bouncing to the outside to the 30 and 33 and out of bounds, first down out of the pro set so that yeah. that run two is pretty effective. I did want to mention in the other direction, uh, you know, the, the whole jump pick factor, for the Washington quarterbacks against this secondary is going to be a major issue. Second down, 13, right. called play and run one. Yeah. Washington QBs are going to want to check the status every quarter and see if Humphreys is looking better than Rippon to see who should be back there. Not as big of an issue with the Bucks. And we got a bump run. Here comes zigging, zagging. Anderson out of bounds of the 50. Couldn't quite get in front of the rest of that drone pack, but a nice run getting it into or right at the 50-yard line. Anderson with a nasty stiff arm. He's going to let his soul glow. The Jerry Curl Anderson out of bounds this time. <laughs> Incomplete. Second and ten. It really not bad for a default playbook in Tecmo without the ability to change it. Uh, lots of T, some disguising plays here. So tough for the Redskins to you know hone in on any one play as long as they use some diversity in what they're calling. He Ooh. wanted Willie Drury and went over his head and picked up by Martin May, who kind of a forced throw, I think. Probably a... a, a a decision he didn't need to make, but as good as a punt, I guess, uh, although he just took three points off the board potentially. Yeah, tough to throw towards the bottom with Mayhew, even though Daryl Green is the faster uh, corner, a much lower INT rate than Mayhew. Gerald Riggs in his abnormal skin color out of bounds there for the first down. Now we get our first look here at the Redskins playbook. A lot of their shifting one setback plays, kind of the Washington trademark. Nice underneath to Sanders. Sanders, of course, the primary runner here, which is a, a modifier. Somewhere Mort having a bad flashback of uh, Tecmo Madison 8. About time you ran it with the running back. <laughs> Good memories. Watch NFL documentary if you haven't yet. It's on Vimeo somewhere. High quality. And I... Art Monk out of bounds there, second down and eight, so he does a reverse. I think Gats is kind of putting that out there as a trial balloon to see how he defends it. That's definitely not a play that players would often put in playbooks. Actually got a couple positive yards out of it. Third and 14 on a cold play. The hot routes are always something you got to kind of be concerned with when you call play. You can't do a whole lot here. He's going to go for it all over Riggs, which is kind of an odd wow. choice. 
And not picked off very lucky, though. I think he's got 19 receptions, if that... Yeah, I believe that's correct. So, both players not doing a whole lot on the first possession. Punting here to A.C. Slater. Yeah, and for those watching that say, you know, Joey gets, you know, what, three, four-time Madison champ. Why would he throw a ball like that? You know, if he doesn't pick it up there, it's as good as a punt. It really doesn't matter. If he gets it, it's, it's a huge... Uh, reward little risk proposition. Nice scramble with uh, Testaverde just getting second and three, and I think if you want to move the ball and get points on the board here with the Buccaneers, this is your best chance of doing it using Vinny's legs. Yeah, oh for sure. It's something that the Redskins have to account for, and it's tough because there's really nobody in the front seven that can run with Vinny. You're going to have to use Green and Mayhew uh, primarily the entire game. From the bottom hash park that run to when the nose tackle just is that Jim Scow? <laughs> I believe that is. Yes. Oh, I just got erect. He got demoted to college. Ron Kids in the Hall in good condition. And Jerry Curl Anderson is in bad, so his hair is looking great though. By the way, it's the, uh, the the jump around Wisconsin right now. It's kind of a, a new tradition as we're, as we're watching this. Everyone wants people to jump around at uh, 3 o'clock our local time and share their videos on it. I guess it's like a new viral internet thing. We're all stuck inside, people. Out of bounds to Carrier. I guess he was hungry, second down and 10. Yeah, that run two working so well uh, so far for A.C. Slater. Tough for the Redskins to stop that run up the middle. Now we'll go back to the shotgun. Cold pass three here. Has Cobb. Nice. Oh, oh, just could not deliver the ball player to failure and gauge. And looking at the long. If he would have had a wide receiver on running that route, I think it would have caught him. Just, Cobb was just a tick too slow there. Maybe going right back to it. Testaverde not willing to test the throw. Probably a wise decision. Fourth down and six and another. I would imagine another punt is coming here. Yeah. You, if it, Unless it's fourth and four or less, usually players are going to punt it, especially on their own side of the field. I was going to say, when you see that coverage, you almost kind of want to start backing, going back and be with that. At least take a shot down the field. Because taking a five-yard run on third down is not going to do much for you at that end of the field. Anyway, back to it, punts it away, and Gats has the ball. So it seems like these offenses are just having trouble getting any rhythm going. Yeah, I, like I said, both defenses are have their strong points, but you know, there's a lot more weaker areas on the defense. But you know, I think they're also, too, playing with these playbooks that most players don't normally play with. You know, Gats put that, ran that monk, reverse on one of his plays just to see how Slater would defend it. So, But it, it's a, definitely an interesting dynamic to the game. Speaking of that play, here we go right back to it. Getting something positive for it. I mean, six yards, that's not bad. Yeah. Not at all. Here comes Humphreys again. You know, it looked like he actually may have had a chance to pick up that first down. It would have been, been close. Tried to buy himself some time, and then the drones got there. Third down and three. Lots of options on third down and three, though, and, and kind of a cat and mouse game, though, too. You know, the Redskins definitely don't want to throw it towards Haddix. Like, as you mentioned before, it's going to be an automatic pick with Haddix every time. Um, you know, he's just trying to bide his time, get Haddix to circle, call well-timed runs, and even the, the monk. Oh, well, this here is we nice go with run. Sanders. He, Look he, at the moves he, by Sanders! He is just making A.C. Slater's ankles break. We saw that two plays ago to get that first down. Humphrey's just doing it with his legs, not moving that fast. Get six yards. It's a win every time if you get out of bounds with a quarterback for their six yards. Yeah, absolutely. Just matriculating the ball down the field here slowly but surely. Oh, forces it in there, and it's picked oh. off. I don't know Addicts. why he forced it, but that's a turnover. A.C. Slater takes over here with 52 seconds remaining. Of course, now three points being virtually erased off the board there. Yeah, really a fast-moving half here, down to 45 seconds left in the half. No score. See if the Buccaneers can get in field goal range or maybe even come up with six. That's funny because this is like the longest game I've ever watched in my life. 
There's no offense. This is hard. <laughs> Testaverde gets it with his legs near the 50. 21 seconds here. I uh, got time for maybe one play, and then you got to make a decision, go down to the end zone, or no, oh, no, he. I think he just took himself out of field goal range. Depends on the kickers. Yeah, well, they're just gonna. He's got Christie, which is. Oh, he's gonna let it go. Here we go, deep down the field, the carrier, it's a Hail Mary! Into the end zone, Mark Carrier! Incomplete to him the half! This is why I pay him the big bucks, folks. Welcome to halftime. A couple donuts on the board. I looked at my uh, Facebook memories today. It was, take donut. it was donuts with dad memory from last year, and we can't do that this year. I'll have to buy some donuts tomorrow. I'll sit down with the kids and just scarf them down. I mean, really, any excuse to buy donuts. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, my wife... Uh... She has Facebook, and she she likes to tell me about you know the memory timelines that she's got on there. It is a really interesting feature of Facebook. Bryant from inside the one takes the kick, and out of bounds at the 18. So what do we see in that first half? Well, we saw two offenses that really just struggled to move the ball. Gats made one force throw. AC Slater had an opportunity to you know. Go for it on fourth down on his own side of the field. Wisely chose to punt it away. I mean, I really think those two plays defined the first half. It was just a struggle on both sides to move the field, uh, to move the ball with any consistency. And we'll see which one of these guys can get hot in the second half. From the 18 motion play coming, which goes without saying when you're playing with default playbooks with the Redskins out of bounds of the 21 yard line, two yard gain. Gerald Riggs now in at the reverse position. So that would be wide receiver two. Here's the play fake with Rippon. He's got lots of time in the backfield. Oh, he gets dropped by Ruben Davis. Third and 12. I love that when you do that. Bottom hash mark. Rippon in for Humphreys. And Sanders with the run. Reversing field and puts it on oh. the ground. Bounce around picked up by Tampa Bay. Eugene Marv with recovery. It's first down. AC Slater in a really good position. Second turnover of the game for the Bucks this time on the Redskins side though. of the field. Bad Vinny. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if there's up. a I don't know if there's a quarterback that's worse in bad versus how good they are normally than Vinny Testaverde. Yeah, well, when he's in bad, you know, like any other Tecmo player, stats go down two notches, and for him, that his real strength is his above average passing ability and his above average running ability, and those go away. So. He just becomes average. Green defense looks really fast right now. And he's going to try to force a throw into Cobb. Does get it there. Oh, he puts it on the oh. ground again. Bounce. Are you kidding me? Wow. Butterball for the football today. First down and 10 for Joey Gatz. 254 here on the third. Still no score. Really nice it was actually a really nice play by Slater. Dropped it in perfectly and then coughed it up. Ernest Miner with a recovery. You expect him to fumble it too soon, Cleveland? <laughs> and out of bounds. First down, Joey Gatz. Well, it doesn't bother me, but some of my Cleveland uh, buddies uh, may turn the broadcast off after that. I don't know. Cleveland? <laughs> out of bounds with a 40. Nice completion for Joey Gatz. Just moving the ball down the field. In chunks, getting close to low Miller field goal range. Buying time with Rippin. Oh, oh Rippin had a lot of drones in his face deep down the field for Biner. Biner inside the goal and jumps incomplete over his head. That was fun. Bottom hash mark. Here comes Rippin again and taken down Ooh. by Eugene Marv. I think it might be a second or third sack of the game, third down and 18. Eugene Marv, defensive candidate, player of the game, at the fumble recovery earlier and then drops Rippin for a big loss. Rippin dropping back again. He's going to have to let it fly here. Rippin all kinds of time looking deep down the field for Riggs again. This didn't end well last time. Looking for Riggs inside the goal line. Incomplete in the double coverage. Fourth and, right. and 18. Another and another punt. Well, Cobb on the return here. From the 11. Can't get out of bounds and taken down near the 15. Eight seconds here remaining. Techno time in the third. This should be the last play of the quarter. 
Shotgun formation for AZ Slater. Looks like he has wide receiver one open. He's going deep Way for over Carrier. His head. He's Whoa. over. Oh. That's 15 yards out of his reach. And welcome to the fourth quarter. 0 0. Got a bag of donuts for you. Let us know in chat what your favorite kind of donut is. Mine's powdered sugar. How about you? Uh, definitely like some sort of um, custard filled, like Long John or Bismarck. Out of bounds at the 20 of the scramble from Vinny Testaverde, third down and six. So here's what I expect to see, Troy, on this drive. AC Slater starting to, you know, realize time's ticking away here. I expect more run two up the middle, and I expect more scrambles with Vinny. And, well, you got the second one right. First down from the 10. Excuse me, first and 10 here after that first, uh, first down scramble from Vinny Testaverde. Run one. Anderson reversing field. Just that run is not working for him. Too much Tough good play. pursuit across the field. Um, perhaps if the he was controlling a safety, he might have had a chance, but Green's just too fast across the formation. Here and we nice go. dive oh. there. He's starting to dial that in is Joey Gatz. Very nice dive. Even at the blocker in front, that was a chance to get a big gain there. Oh, a lot There's of dancing around. Behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, and he coughs it up. It up There's a lot the of red Redskins. jerseys picked up by the Redskins. Wilbur Marshall. Wilbur. <laughs> See the one that couldn't read? Wilbur Marshall. No, 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 no. He played for the Bears in 85, didn't he? Kelvin Brighton, excellent. Ooh, that's a, that's a sight. No, that was Dexter Manley. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Dexter Manley. Mark Griffin just scrambling on cross field. Ooh. He's got him. Oh, could not oh. hit Sanders. That would have been huge. It'd be the first points of the game. What a well, well timed throw there. Couldn't come up with it. Calvin Bryant. Oh, with the juke. Oh, He's got look at the ankle ankles. in the end there zone. There are orange shoes all over the middle of the field. The Redskins take it in for the touchdown. Six, nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate weapon. Excellent. We'll let you do those jukes. Even a slower guy, even more of an average guy in excellent condition, just the change of direction speed with the rushing power increase is a, is a huge... And plus the running speed increase. And then, of course, you get the maximum speed on the back end. But I think everyone thinks maximum speed all day long. Yeah. Those other stats really matter when you're trying to get in front of drones. Oh, it does. And the change of direction, as you just saw it there, right there with that breaking ankles run, I mean, that's probably the toughest thing when, when a player can do that and change direction that quickly with the running speed. 7 nothing. got a cold play, forced it into Hall. AC Slater needs to chuck a couple up here and see what he can do. He, he doesn't have to do it yet. He wants to get a little bit closer. Um, you know, you can put Anderson at wide receiver, which is something that I probably would be doing in this situation. Yeah, the Bucks don't really have a wide receiver, too, outside a carrier that can get any type of separation. And, you know, at this point, unless he's going to do another run two up the middle, there's really no reason to have Anderson back there. Testa Verde going to Ron Hall. Kids in the hall, does he got him? And out of bounds, takes his route just outside the hash, excuse me, the sideline rather, third down and 10. Running out of time and options. Yeah, AC Slater has not played a bad game, you know, but he's playing Joey Gatz, who's played a masterful game here on defense. Here we get another deep shot down the field to Carrier. Triple coverage incomplete. I, I could be wrong here. I don't think he's completed a pass today. Yeah, I can't remember him completing one. That's a good point. Oh, and, well, there's your fourth Find down. Out. That was the one you wanted. And now first and goal from the nine. Don't know if Joey Gatz is going to try to extend point differential here, but uh, it's his game to lose here with nine, or excuse me, with uh, 33 seconds remaining. Yep. And uh, Sanders is just going to run back here. Yep, smart veteran play. Take as much time off as you can. Get out of bounds, punt it. And here we go. Good well, good game to Joey Gatz. 
Oh, this this is a just interesting title back in or uh, uh, just a contest back and forth here. Seven nothing. In a lot happened, but they just couldn't put anything together. Obviously, Gats was able to take advantage of that that turnover late in the game, and and uh, yeah, looks like he didn't have any completions or receptions there for right. Uh, any positive yardage there, so um, didn't help that Testaverde wasn't bad for you know at least half of the game. So yeah, well. Thanks, guys, for sending us this one. Gats over AC Slater. Why don't you guys stay tuned? We'll have another game for you soon. I'll start with the fans. I like those questions. Hey, Coach, how does Coors Light deliver such awesome refreshment? To do that, you've got to have protection. Right. The Frost Brew Liner. It really protects that Rocky Mountain refreshment. Would any coach say that's not genius? There's not another coach in the National Football League that would say that. And if he did, he'd be wrong. Word. Frost Brew Coors Light. Official beer sponsor of the NFL. Coach, he had three sacks of mini burgers in the first game. And five sacks in the, in the second ball game. So that's eight sacks in two games. They're mini burgers. And we're back, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. Thanks for continuing to watch the broadcast here week three. They are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. Koval Kid and Thule doing battle. Default playbooks. Can't change your plays. You can move your players around as you see fit. Wide receivers and tight ends can, in fact, carry the ball and welcome him back. For the first time this season, fan favorite Darth Rockman into the booth. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing real good. Thanks for finally having me on the show here, uh, Trojan GB land. It's been a while, so it's good to be back in the booth. Thank you very much. Well, you know, when you won TPC and you stopped returning my communication, <laughs> kind of a big time, well, aren't you? People know you. I, I have been a TPC champion for going on two years now. Yeah, that might continue to be the case here with COVID. <laughs> Uh, COVID is going to be the MVP uh, in that uh, situation. <laughs> so we hope that every, everyone's tournaments that are delayed or, or outright canceled this year can can resume soon um, and, and we can get back to the normalcy of Tecmo uh, in person. But until then, this is what we have, and we hope you're enjoying it here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Uh, we're going to flip it over here to the matchup. Kovalkin uh, has the Buffalo Bills and Thule has the Eagles. Before we start, I just want to uh, reference again this Gamer Stick a uh, 60-bit HD console. We would love to give this out to uh, anyone that's in chat if we can hit 60 concurrent viewers. Uh, it's possible we may have hit that already in the broadcast by the time you see this video. Uh, these games are broadcast um, uh, as a whole after they've been pre-recorded. So, again, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, share it out. Let people know about also the giveaway, but mostly just the Tecmo. And uh, if they're fans of Tecmo, we want them in here. So, all right. So they are who we thought they were. Kovacin, Thule, Bills, Eagles. Let's break it down. Yeah, I mean, this is the matchup that I called for my week in this game as well. Um, I felt like the playbooks, even though they weren't the, the best with these two teams, that I felt like the talent would overrate the uh, crappy playbooks. And, and with Thurman Thomas or QB Eagles, you can't go wrong <laughs> despite the playbook. So that's that's why I chose this matchup, and this is probably why these two teams, um, or these two players, chose this matchup as well. So looking forward to see what they do with these, um, you know, their own playbooks here. Someone should tell Kovacan, you can go out of bounds in this round. Maybe they forgot from last week. Cats in a cage, oh. was that theme? Yeah, no kidding. Like I, I kept, I think it wasn't until the third quarter that I realized that I couldn't go out of bounds in that matchup. So... <laughs> And here, maybe it'll be just the opposite. Thomas with the run one pitch to the outside. Thule went after Don Beebe. And it, just reiterating, you can put the wide receiver and tight end wherever you want in this week's modifier. From the bottom, hash mark pro set. And to be honest, I don't even know. I knew that rule in this game. But however, how do you take Thurman Thomas out of the lineup here? So, you know, unless he gets hurt. And I don't even know if that's in the in the ROM itself. Is that in the ROM? It is not. Nope. That we're the standard okay. preseason. Yep. So another first down run for Kovalkin. Direct snap to Thomas. Nice juke. Nice juke again. Taking advantage of those little online delays and out of bounds inside the forty of Philadelphia. First down and ten. Yeah, one of those situations where if you knew it was coming, you would have went in there and dove, but you're just not used to playing against this, these playbooks. So that's kind of the fun of this uh, matchup and this rom. So you know, we'll see if, as this game goes along. We'll see if they get better at defending those plays. Right up the middle for BB, just two yards. The blocking is usually not very good there. Jerome Brown on defense this time. Popcorns, this is play action. He's going to take a shot here to Andre Reed. 
single coverage in the end zone and not caught. Third down and eight. Yeah, I can't go wrong with just throwing it up to Andre Reed and seeing what happens again, especially against an Eagles secondary that's not really that great. So, a pretty safe play. Nothing much going on there, so worth a shot, but didn't play out in that time. Thomas, on run two, made it interesting. Fourth down and five. Tuli popcorn that blocker, and he had really nowhere to run. This time shotgun formation, Ben Smith on defense, direct snap to Thomas. Interesting he didn't gauge right away. I think Kovacin would easily have the taps there if he if he had gauged immediately, but he doesn't, and now he turns the ball over on downs. Yeah, interesting play call on fourth down. He had pretty good success with that third down play, but on fourth down on that shotgun play, I just feel like that you know, may, may not have been the best play call on that just because he had gone to it so much. And uh, didn't work that time, and here he goes. He's stuck on fourth down, so Eagles get the ball back and have, have the ball in their court. And call play Shane Collin with the drone sack third and 14. Looks like Keith Jackson. I'm assuming it's Keith Jackson in the running back one position for run one, run two. We've got Robert Drummond in the run three. Yeah, good for the Eagles here, putting Keith Jackson at running back. It's something that uh, in my game they did not do. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things you got to know the rules here. So, you know, credit to Tuli here with knowing those rules and having a good play. But, of course, if it didn't work because he's putting the ball here. I would say in a matchup where you'd have normal playbooks here, it's going to be all offense. But because things are condensed into what they are, he's playing a little more conservative at this point in the game as they feel each other's abilities and familiarity out. So, this is going to be a back and B situation. Ben Smith against Andre Reeves going for it all. Here's the throw. And was there four Eagles there? Three? Yeah, more than one. I'll give you that. Right. <laughs> you sort of just blended in there. Safe play for Buffalo. And here's that run through again. Thomas with a direct smith. Yeah, he seems yeah, to like that play. He's still getting four or five yards. One of those things. He's going to keep calling until you stop it. And. If you see shotgun, you got to start running in there, and you could, it's an easy play to see that it's a run three, but you do have to be looking for it on the early snap. Going through the conditions here, it's zero zero here as we're in the second quarter. They went by pretty quick. Oh, it did. When, when you're having fun, it always goes by quick. You know, it, that's why we all love quickies. Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, honey. <laughs> Slight pause there. Oh, hey, honey. <laughs> it's late. Hey, I'll drink to that. Okay, so. <laughs> Offset formation. Thomas across against the grain here and taken down on his side of the 40. It looked like Thule just got knocked down on that play. He tried to do the bump. Yeah, we'll see what he does with the play clock here. He's got four minutes to run down this clock. I would say that uh, some players love to just milk that clock and run the ball. Here, it looks like he's just going to air it out and just try and score. Loving in elevator. <laughs> he's got the do Oh, no. James Lofton. And when you got QB bills, why not, right? Just see if you can score quick. It's either you score quick or you go slow. So Dropping the ball fast and they drop his pants. Now from the pro like formation. And, oh, oh, there's the there fumble we talked about before. Oh, there he goes. And there are the Eagles, and that's why that play is so dangerous. And now the playbook's probably going to get condensed if you're Kovokin, which is a huge advantage to Thule, who now is yeah. threatening. It's one of those things where they, you know, fool me once, you know, fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, maybe not. So that time he ran in and got that fumble, and there he goes. So that, we may not see that play again. You're right. Everyone seems to be... An average on some that's oh let's put Jim McMahon in let's do it we're gonna have to have a punky QB week one of these years punky QB week yeah I Jim McMahon was the punky QB oh we'll ha we'll have to put him in all in, in the ROMs somewhere I'm all for it we'll call the week maybe it'll be like a buddy ball week <laughs> oh look at those moves shake and bake. QB Eagles, the nice run inside the five. Thule looking at first down and goal from the four. That's why it's one of those things where it's like, if you got QB Eagles, who cares who you have? 
as far as your playbooks. Worst case scenario is if you don't know it, just quarterback sneak it, and you're going to get yourself five, six, seven, eight yards. Back to back call plays. Cross the redirect there leads to a touchdown for Thule. Nice play to Keith Byers. Yeah, and even when it's a played call, you still feel like you could scramble through there, throw a quick pass for a hot route, or even scramble for a few yards passing with QB Eagles. So, you know, I don't know, maybe you would know what matchups were called for all these games, but for me, I looked at this matchup, I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm calling this matchup. This one has the least amount of, I think, plays that, well, this in Miami and Chicago look are, are pretty compelling. Uh, the other ones seem to have some gadget plays and whether or not you're okay with that. So like the San Diego, Minneapolis, uh, excuse me, uh, Minnesota matchup and then the Packers and, and the Cardinals are um, filled with reverses and that sort of thing, flea flickers. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of those. I just feel like those can be blown up potentially. So, Oh, we got a covered catch. Joiner on, t I think he's on Reed there. First down for Kovalkin. Trailing 7 0. A minute and 41. And here's another. Well, it's not a call play, but he's got his plenty of options here. He's going to just launch it. Wants Reed again. And why not? It's looking good. He's got the oh! diving grab. Touchdown, yeah. Kovalkin. <laughs> yeah, I love the QB Bills to Andre Reed. You know, even with straight on, it wasn't your traditional, you know, low to high type thing with wide receiver one. It was, you know, down to wide receiver two throws it, but still some time in this clock. So not over yet before the half. So we'll, we got seven to seven. We'll see if we can make that even higher. You know, I got to say that's probably a 35, 40% play every time, even if he's covered against the secondary. I mean, so considering... Yeah, getting down the field with the playbook that he has, if he can get a read play down the field, you just go Why to the not? well. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where I don't usually do that until, you know, you're forced into that, but it's one of those things that it's kind of a Joey Gatz move, if if, if I can say that, is because Joey Gatz would take a shot, the second down and, and whatever, and he would and he'd get it. So it's like, well, why not? And if, and if you can use that for time management, you know, like you need a quick score, and it, it fits within that time management piece. If you got the guys, you got the quarterback, you got the receiver, you probably should do it, even if it goes away from the traditional, like, okay, that's not quality play. Well, you're here to win, right? Absolutely. Not sure what the delay was here for both players. Well, they, were but... listening, they were listening to my audio. You know what? That's great that you actually had a few words to say there. Right up the it, middle it, here to, to Jackson. Right. I always have something to say, you know, whether it's as a value is another question. But Agreed. <laughs> I'm glad you agreed quickly. <laughs> oh, look at that pressure. Well, you got the line that you have here. They're hot garbage. Oh, he wants Fred He's going to be short here. Some under pressure. Little Welcome to halftime. Oof. Well, what did you see oh, in that first you, half? Sorry. Well, I don't know. I mean, I saw a lot of different playbooks, and I saw some um, adjustments as far as what those plays were being, how they're being being defended. We'll see if they can get better at defending some of the running plays, and more so the running plays and the passing plays, of course. But we'll see if they can get um, continue to be, be defended better with the uh, second half here. But um, I mean, I, I love this matchup with this playbook, especially. Robert Drummond on the return and condition check time. Looks like everyone that matters is an average. And Tony yeah. isn't bad. Doesn't matter though. Yeah, you got better eyes than me. Holy cow, they flash through them things and I'm like pfft. without the condition checker, I mean <laughs> everyone's an average, right? Hey yo. So QB Eagles just maneuvering around here. Tuli getting second down and one, which is his favorite down in distance. I mean, look at that. You, you, you really didn't have much other than one wide receiver open, but he got nine yards on that. And out of bounds. The 27. Back to, it doesn't matter what your playbook is. And it's it's actually, excuse me, it's actually not a bad playbook. A lot of uh, JJers love that pass three in this one. I mean, the pass four is not real popular, but... Nice completion to Jackson. Did not get out of bounds. First down and 10 for Thule. You know, the pass two has got that uh, 
two back formation with some people like Rico will put that in there and the worst case scenario is you don't know the routes you just run the ball QB Eagles just dodging around getting six yards nice maneuvering by Thule to get a positive play uh, if I could ask you who do you take in this match if it's called against you I would take the Eagles okay I can Myself, tap so I that hoping, adds up. I was, hoping, I was hoping for the Bills in this one when uh, it was called. I called it, so they took the Eagles against me. If, if it's just, if it's straight up, I'm taking the Bills. If you could do whatever. Yeah. All right, and nice. That might have been because uh, of Jackson. I wasn't even thinking of that. Putting Jackson at running back, that's a huge difference. I just think you have more flexibility on each play with that factor. So, another call play. So, after that huge first down, Daryl Talley gets the drone sack, and we're looking at second and 24, 210 Tecmo time in the second quarter. Thank you so, third record. quarter, excuse me. Oh, plenty of time left. A close game here, too. Third down in 22. The run play not real effective. Maybe playing for three here. Might take a shot. Another call yeah, play. Yeah, let the that ball go here, otherwise you're going to be out of field goal range. Oh, gets the covered oh. catch inside the 10 to Fred Barnett. What <laughs> reigns it for us, Kovalkin? With those, I was going to say, I'd love to have Keith Jackson wide receiver there so you can kind of throw it up to him, but he didn't need Keith Jackson. Here's the QB Eagles sneak. Breaks the tackle and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Thule. Oh, there you go. That's, that's what you want when you're late in the third quarter. The pressure on the other guy. Now, if you score, I don't know how much time is left. Okay, so this is perfect. He scored early enough in the third quarter, which means he's not going to take the entire clock. You're going to get the ball back no matter what here. So, worst case scenario oh, is... unintentional onside player oh, two. Oh, okay, that kind of takes away. You're going to get the ball back. So, he will get the ball back, but now we'll see if, if the Bills get the ball back after that with a three-possession three game, perhaps. Ben Smith across the formation, gets juked. The drones are there. Nice run, second down and three. Still getting seven yards on that, so not, not the best play with run two. He's still still getting some good scores. Here's run three. Getting better at defending that. Shotgun formation for Kovalkin. Direct snap yeah, again. Goes to Thomas again. near the marker, and, and he has oh. the first. Gets it again. Time ticking down here in the third shotgun formation top does hash mark. Again? He does. Oh, he does not. He wants the JJ. He's got the diving grab inside the 31st down. Welcome to the fourth quarter. 14 7, Thule over Kovacan, who's driving. Getting aggressive there, just throwing it up, and, and you can be against this defense, but, you know, not, not always getting that dive. But he, he probably saw he had everyone covered there, so why not just throw it up? From the bottom hash mark. Pass one is the call. Cross field and redirect <laughs> puts them. That was a low percentage throw with any quarterback. Oh, is that run? Is he throwing to Thomas on that though? Yeah, I mean he should have thrown it early before the the release. Yeah, I mean it looked like it was a throw to Thomas, and Thomas didn't go out of bounds. It just looked like a complete drop. And Thomas has fifty receptions. He was so standing on the like on the line top. though. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that was why he dropped it. I don't know, but it just he, like he should have caught that. Same play there. He had that burner down two below with uh, Reed if you wanted it, uh, but gets goes, down to fourth and three. If he goes to run three again here, he's been doing it all day. He did that, okay. Oh, out of his oh. reach. Kovacan unable to get the JJ that time. <laughs> maybe he should have went to run three again. It seems like oh, he had all his too obvious. Receivers. So maybe maybe he called run three on defense, and that's why he had that play open on that play. But and that's the thing, you know, if you have a couple of receivers open, but you know, with QB, um, you know, on the QB Bills, you just can't scramble. He's so slow. Like it's so if you get blitzed, you gotta you gotta launch it. And so it's a little bit of a gamble. This is the battle of the QB. I'm not gonna sell out my namesake. Eagles and Bills. You know, I was playing the Genesis version of Tecmo Super Bowl today, and it's QB Vikings. I'm like, there's no one good enough on the Vikings for it to matter. Who, who 
pulled their name out. <laughs> Unbelievable. Back to this one. Pass one's a call. He's got him open. Ah, he's going to just play chicken. Oh, he oh, oh, there's the player to drop. There it is. The one we know oh, and love. Third and 14. Oh, man. Hate that. I just feel like you get robbed whenever that happens, especially if you got a decent quarterback with, you know, decent, um, you know. We've seen control. so many of those on stream this year already. Yeah, I made a chart that just, you know, gives you the odds of an open drop. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's painful when you got like uh, Denver or San Diego or something like that. But, you know, it's like you, you expect that. But when you got a decent quarterback, you don't expect that at all. And another turnover on downs here, Thule. Well, this game just got real interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't kick it away. I know we were kind of jabbering back and forth, kind of lost track of those fourth down. Here's pass one again. Bill's just keeping it on the ground, taken out of bounds, short of the 15, second and well, six. He wants, he wants to go slow here, so just kind of run this ball. You know, make sure you get your first downs. Kill that clock. Let it go. Okay, timeouts. That's good. Kovalkin just nickel and diamond as you suggested and here's that called direct snap yeah, he's, gone, he's gone to that a, a couple too many times so now he's put him in a fourth down position so a big play here this has got to be that play action no he goes right for oh you've got to be kidding me all the way to the house he's like no way that play gets all the way wow I stand corrected so folks you know, it's just one of those things where you, when you have a fast running back, you're not used to these plays. You can make, some, you can get some yardage on these plays. So he ties it up, 14-14, fourth quarter, couple uh, minute and forty seconds of techno time left. Yes, techno time. We should just rename the whole thing techno time. What do you think? Hey, I think we should call that a, its own separate show. Yeah, show like it would be a, a separate from the, these tournaments. Welcome to Tecmo time. Let's talk about Tecmo. <laughs> if only I knew anything about Tecmo. All right, so here comes QB Eagles dancing around out of bounds. And he has one minute, does Thule. So we'll see what he does here. He could still go for a field goal if he kind of works his way down the field a little bit. It's got to be cautious with that time clock. Second down I'm and kinda... seven. I'm a, I'm a fan of that pass one where you can pretend like you're going deep and still sh throw it short to the tight end. Goes up to Barnett, who ran already. He's hungry, apparently. Hot dog yeah, better time. time. So it's either sink or swim at this point. All right, so he's going to go back and B. He's got some pressure on him, but not a problem with QBE. Let it fly. And this is going to be it. Let's see what he gets. And he still didn't make the end zone after all that. <laughs> wow, Barnett. Oh. Run faster. 14-14. Welcome to overtime. It's free football. And, you know, I didn't even notice. Where did they put Keith Jackson? That's one of those times you should have put him back. If he, if, I don't know if he did or not. Probably, I don't think he did. I don't think we've actually, like, paid attention to this game at all. We've been talking too much. So yeah, stop. we're having fun. You know, <laughs> how dare we do that? You know, broadcasters are people, too. I didn't notice it if he did. And if he did, why didn't he throw it to him, right? We'll see, actually, here, if, when he goes, if he gets the ball back, if Keith Jackson's still running back one. If we only had condition checker, maybe we'd know. Yeah, it should be legal. I don't know who's running this league, but... Some jackass. <laughs> second down and ten. <laughs> jackass! <laughs> Pass three or run three. Nope. All right, so QB Bill's dancing around. Oh, oh he's boy. Dancing. End zone. He's been throwing to his money, man. Oh, he's oh, got him. Oh, Huge God. game for Kovalkin. Can he close this out? <laughs> oh, he went to his moneymaker. Everybody open. Oh, oh, he throws it to the wrong me. guy. Oh, he got everybody. Oh, holy crap. Open. Ben Smith with the interception, too. Who is he throwing against? Man. Uh, that, yeah, but Ben Smith against uh, Thurman Thomas. Oh, was there, was there it was Thurman one? Thomas, yeah. That was that, that looping uh, RB out. 
So oh, QB man. Eagles controlled by Thule doing work here. I'm assuming that was a mistap where he was trying to go deep because he had both wide receivers open on top and bottom on that one. First down for QB Eagles. So Thule just needs to get in Ruzek field goal range and close this out. Well, yeah, with two minutes and 55 seconds, you got to be careful because... Oh, who got the ball at the half? It was Kiwi Bills, I would assume, here. So so if if he runs out of time, uh, Thule would get the oh. kickoff. Okay, so he's uh, actually he's completely in the driver's seat in that case. Yes, so yeah, our, our tournament rules dictate that the person receiving the first overtime, if it goes to a second, would then kick off, and then the game just continues on as a brand new game until there's a, a so the first score wins this isn't like both teams have to have the ball or you know if it's, if they only kick a field goal that you have to keep playing nothing like that second down and two for Thule so that's something that Thule has to keep in mind here too is that you know that even if he doesn't make this drive he gets the ball so he wants to be very careful last thing you want to do is fumble or throw an interception does not get out of bounds. That shocked me. Did, did a good job to get away from that drone. First down and 10 for Thule. 133 tech with time bottom. Hashbrook shotgun formation. Cornelius Bennett called play. Going cross field to Calvin Williams. Triple covered. Incomplete second and 10. Yeah, so Arky in field goal range. So obviously not trying to get a sack there. Wants to try and push this ball forward. QB Eagles making their selection here. See if we can get a few more yards to make this field goal a little bit easier. Definitely not a gimme. You have Daryl Talley barreling down on you. He's fast enough he can get there. Yep. Definitely. That just, this distance is not going to be for sure, so you want to try and get more yards if you can. He's got Barnett. He's Huge. Open. Oh, a fumble out of bounds, but at the very least he's now in basically just about double tap range here. Oh yeah. This, this should be the Eagles game as long as they don't fumble with the midfield and we got the run four and does not get the bump from his drone he bounces off second down and five running the clock down there he goes this is going to be a quarterback sneak tough to stop here get out of bounds wisely time for a field goal attempt this should do it as long as he doesn't panic Double tap, no rush, and he splits the uprights. 17-14, Thule triumphant over Kovalkin in a fun one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Love the fact that it was an overtime game here. Love the matchup as well, Bills and Eagles. Just just a fun game to, to watch, a fun game to call, and uh, a unique game with the fact that playbooks were locked in place there, something a little bit different that you see. QB Bill is throwing 41%, which you probably don't see very often, but part of that's because you probably throw into coverage more than you normally would, so that's, you know, going to play with that too. But he gets 169 yards with that as well. So it was a good game. It was fun to watch and fun to call. Absolutely. So hang tight, everyone. We're going to have one more game for you shortly. For Darth Rockman, Trojan, stay tuned. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, probably mostly gentlemen, which is generous. Week three, they are who we thought they were. I still got Darth Rockman in the booth. Couldn't kick him out. How's it going? Oh, it's going. You tried, but I was like, hell no, I'm not going. Well, you had to go all the way into the basement for this one. Johnny yeah, V and Tecmo way. DPS doing battle for a potential game of the week candidate here. Um, so it looks like you're doing some work down there. The viewers can't see the camera yet. They won't a moment. So what's what's going on down there? Well, this is part of it. Yeah, this is um, sometimes people have been hitting me up like, hey, can you play? I'm like, no, I'm working in the basement. Well, this was an unfinished basement, and now it's a partially finished basement. So a little peak view of what I've been working on. So previously was concrete and studs, and now it's now they can you know, see it. wood and whatnot. So. We got a matchup between Johnny V and DPS. So you finished your basement just to prove to people that you weren't ducking people? Oh, no, I'm still ducking. <laughs> oh, <Don't get> wrong. <laughs> it's been a long week being stuck at home sucks we hope you're enjoying this one quick plug here we want to get some viewers uh this is a game of the week candidate so let us know in chat your thoughts but if you can get 
help us get up to 60 concurrent viewers, uh, we'll give this console away from Gamers Tech. Uh, two controllers, works on your HDTV or your CRT through composite. I've got a lot of these things. like to give away a lot more. Let's get up to 60 viewers. Share it out on, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Let them, let them know what's going on. Um, if there's other things that I don't know about, Snapchat, whatever, whatever people, whatever the kids are doing these days, share it out. Let's get some viewers in here for Tecmo. So we just courted the same matchup of two different players here, Johnny V and Tecmo DPS. Obviously, they're working with the same playbook, but let's see how they treat these teams. I know that DPS is a huge QB Eagles fan, so I'm not surprised that he took the Eagles in this. Oh, man, you can't blame anybody for taking QB Eagles with this matchup. So um, we'll see how Tecmo DPS is. Are these games back-to-back -back that we're showing here, or is this going to be spaced out? Um, They're going to be back-to-back. -back. All right, back-to-back. So, yeah, we the game you guys just watched, literally moments apart in recording, he had to refresh his beverage, which is really important in a technical broadcast. Here's pass one. And Thomas with the reception, nice completion by Johnny V, second down and six. Okay, so, yeah, we just had five minutes of refreshment break. You guys had zero time, so we're in much better shape than you guys are. We're flattening the curve for ourselves. Third down <laughs> and four. The flattening curve uh, was a uh, theme I thought of, but I was going to do all New York teams, but then I thought there, someone might get offended by that, and I, I pushed out on it. Ah, it's possible. You know, you want not the safe route. Oh, look at that big lead on the bottom there. Just... And he doesn't let it go. Ben Smith gets there. Oh, oh man. You got to let that go. What, is he, what does he do here? He's thinking about it. He's going to wow. go for it. Of course you go for it. Cojones, he's got Johnny V with the run. And, oh, and that's oh. that's a no-go. A turnover on downs. He, thought he had a chance if he would have stuck out to the bottom, but oof. Rough first start for Johnny V. I mean, the Terminator is a stud, but that's asking a lot. Take well, the DPS getting out of bounds there. Yeah, we'll see if if DPS can take advantage. If you hold him to a field goal, you still feel like you're doing okay. If you give him a touchdown, you're kind of like, some of the wind might be taken out of your sails here. Fred Barnett with the carry. Of course, in this modifier, we're, we are doing default playbooks, but you can put your players wherever you want. There's no restriction on who can run the ball. It's a run. It's a run. QB Eagles in the end zone. Touchdown DPS. So that early gambling by Johnny V does not pay off. No. And, you know, it's one of those things where, okay, that's obviously a bad thing for Johnny V. But the other side of it is if, okay, if you fumble or you give up an early fourth down score, at least they scored early and you have a lot of time here to make up this deficit. Jamie Mueller out of Zenzo. Uh, one thing I've noticed a lot too is uh, people weren't putting the, the thumpers back there. We got a fumble. Are you kidding me? Oh, picked up by the Bills. Here comes Keith McKellar. He's moving quick. He's looking pretty fast for a running back. or Tight end. Not a running back, a tight end. Looking for some blocking help. Okay. Really nice return there. Obviously, the fumble pickup had a lot to do with that. It had everything to do with that. Here comes QB Bills. Going to let it fly. Wants Andre Reed. Should have did this before. Back of the end zone, oh. touchdown, Johnny V. And he had wide receiver two open, or the bottom receiver, and he had also the top receiver open. Goes to, to Reed, which you can never go wrong against, and gets the diving score. So ties it right back up. So 7-7 seven seven game. I always get entertained watching Jesse Small fail trying to rush a kick. I don't know if I really enjoy that, but... <laughs> Oh, that's that's about as good as it gets for me. First down and ten, Tecmo DPS <laughs> watches his quick lead evaporate. One of those things for Tecmo DPS not putting uh, Keith Jackson at running back like we saw in the previous game in this in this one. He's keeping him. What the hell happened to the first quarter? It's gone. It's like that yeah, South Park episode where they invest the money and it's gone. It's it's no longer there. Yeah, it's like boom. 
There's Jackson at wide receiver one. You know, you, you go with, with what you're comfortable with, I guess. You got to stretch the field, right? What's that? Say again? Maybe he just wants to stretch the field. I mean, the, you use the speed however it suits you. Yeah, you certainly can. It's just a different strategy with what you want to do. He's, he's got the receptions as well. so. It's not like the offensive line is going to hold up against these guys anyway. Oh, there's oh. the dive. There's the LB4 lurch. They're down in nine. Call play, Tech one DPS, buying time. And finally taken down. Daryl Talley with the drone sack, fourth down and eleven, and a punt coming from Tech one DPS. Yeah, wise move here to punt. Give the opponent the uh, opportunity to see what they can do with the ball. Always painful to punt, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Jamie Mueller, lots of real estate in front of him. Popcorn. Past the 50, easily the longest punt Man. return we've seen this season. First down and 10. Man, he certainly looks like he was faster than he normally would be with that uh, um, strong safety in the bottom there. Popcorn and usually an 88 hitting power that throws it up here. Well, we got the JJ to Thurman Thomas. Oh, and the auto dive running to the corner of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Johnny V. Wow, what a play to Thurman Thomas. You know, just not something I would do. So I always respect somebody who does something that I normally do, no, don't do, and it and it works. So, you know, good for him to throw in that up, making that work. But the only, only criticism against that is that he scored so quickly, it leaves a lot of time here for the Eagles to come back and, and score before the half. I think with the nature of these playbooks, and we've seen this, it's really hard to dink and dunk with this playbook as far as the what the Bills are working with. I think you get your points where you can and hope for the best the other direction. Yeah, I definitely do with what uh, what you can make the best out of it. You know, I mean, he threw it to Thurman Thomas, who's got 50 reception versus an Andre Reed, but it almost looked like that Thurman Thomas was a... It, you know, I threw it to him on purpose with that JJ rail. I'm not sure, so it's just it's just not my style. So I don't completely understand it. You know, and I give credit to those players that know those running back routes and and those JJ routes for those guys. That speedball, if you will, that's yeah, I mean, that's a lifestyle. It is. I mean, you wake up yeah. in the morning and you you're throwing <laughs> JJs to yourself, like you when you're popping your toast out of the toast, your bed out of the toaster. Yeah, you know, I still want to, you know, I still, I, I, early on, I was a huge film study guy, and I would study guys that, that uh, had a better game than me, you know, and I don't know if Speed and a Kiko Shimoji have a better game than me, but they have a style that's, you know, is better than me with their style, you know, so I, I, I would like to see what they have to play and see what they have to do and, and learn from them a little bit more. Because they have a style that I don't quite do or get, but it's successful for them in certain situations. So, props to them. Uh, when I kept getting asked to play Seattle Green Bay, I had to block him. <laughs> Third down and ten. Is that a Kiko? You mean? Oh yeah, that's like okay. three years ago. Here's that a guy's still around too. Yeah, oh, still, every now and then he he hits me up about. And he listens to broadcasts like this and other ones because he'll say, hey, I heard you and, and whatnot. So he's still around and he's still... He's hoping still, he's not uh, still trying to message me because I'm not getting him. Well, maybe not, <laughs> yeah. But I, I, res I respect what, what he knows and what he does, you know, as far as his style is concerned. Well, we got a drop pass there, but that doesn't matter. It's into the half. So 14-7, Johnny V over Tecmo DPS. What does DPS need to do to even the score here besides score a touchdown <laughs> well if i was tech with dps i would just you know i mean you just have to level you know just, you just have to get qb eagles just as as much as you can quarterback sneak and, and and it's close so you don't have to heave it up so it's a one score game you get the ball here so just move the ball down the field and get some points jackson on the return Let's see, no condition check yet. Mm, let's see if he does it. Oh, here we go. Drummond's in good. Jackson's in good. Williams is in good. 
Barnett isn't bad. Byers isn't bad. Like quick and bad. Yeah, get him out of the game. He is not quick at all. No pun intended. But he's moving things around here a little bit. Putting buyers there. And we're back after the condition check. And from the middle, in between the hashes, pass three is the call. Eagles goes cross field to Jackson. Kelso was there, second down and 10 incomplete. You know, it's one of those things, too, where even if you have a player that you would say, okay, normally I'm better than this player, or you think you're better than this player, but if you're not familiar with these pass plays, like that pass three I never put in, it's a good play with the QB Eagles, but if you don't know the pass routes, it can be a problem. Calvin Williams with the reception, so call play doesn't matter. Tech one DPS delivering where it needs to go, first down and 10. You know something about delivering, don't you? <laughs> I do, all because it's my job, yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Darth Mac Rockman delivers on time, every time. Yeah, just ask my wife. hey -o. <laughs> Yeah, nice auto dive there. Williams is in good, so he's in a good position to juke defenders if we can get that auto dive going. First down and 10. Cornelius Bennett on defense. Here's the run to the bottom. Good blocking. And it collapses up just about a yard shy. Yeah, one of the things with the Bills, their their defense is they don't have the secondary that's very good. They they have the linebacker one and linebacker four combo, but you can kind of get burned by that, especially if you're taking linebacker oh, one. Oh, boy. You're taking linebacker four, Here comes QB Eagles. He's loose. Yeah, he's loose. Oh, he could not get away from that last drone. So DPS inside the 10, first and goal. So that's definitely the weakness, the weakness of the Bills is their defense. Pass one's the call from the top hash mark. Wants drumming to the back of the end zone, oh. throws it just to the sideline, second and 10. Looks like he had that, too, and it just didn't pay out for him. Kelso on defense this time. Pass one's the call. Kelso. QB Eagles to the end zone. Touchdown. Oh. Next Tecmo DPS. Yeah, not a big fan of taking Kelso in that situation. Uh, just doesn't have the speed that you need for quarterback Eagles. It also leaves you with a, an open wide receiver potentially and that's kind of what happened there is he had to let, let his man go and try and chase the quarterback it didn't work out so it, it, we end up with a tie game of 14 to 14 time taken away here for Johnny V Mueller maneuvering around gets the popcorn good return 20 25 30 so third Quarter, 42 seconds, Tecmo time. Might be the longest return Miller's ever had as a <laughs> returner. I don't know. Oh. Hey, Jesse Small heard me uh, rip on him before. He's in there for the drone sack. Oh, he heard you. He's making up for it. Look at the blitz. I'll make up Everyone's for it now. Uh -oh. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, Andre Reed. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Are we man, playing the computer? DPS. Oh, that's that, that no. sucks to give up. Don't don't make it easy no. for him. Man, I don't know that deck. You know, it's just one of those things where I feel like that's a rookie mistake. Tech one DPS is not a rookie. He took a gamble there, but oh man, he just had all of his wide receivers open on that play. So he, he paid plays for that he one. plays Techmo like he plays NBA Jam. He likes to strike often. Yeah, so, I don't know if he picked a pass on that one. I just, you know, hope he didn't pick a run and blitz. It's one of those Cardinals rules. You don't pick a run and blitz. If you're going to blitz, you, you've got to pick a pass play. Well, someone's an excellent. Hey, Williams is sometimes, you, sometimes you pick a pass play and you still don't get coverage. So, you know, I'm not, it's hard to say. But that, that time it did not work out for him. Are you having fun in chat yet? I know it's going to be a long broadcast compared to normal. We had a lot of games. We want to start getting some more people some screen time we had extra time this week to call games so i don't have the official count in my head right now but it's more than we've done the rest of the season so far so um i hope you're enjoying yourself uh 
that's that's about it, man. We're we're just we're glad that you're here. And uh, back to the game. So first down and ten for Tecmo DPS down. A well, touchdown he put, here. He does put Jackson at running back now, so he knows the rules and is changing things up. And this is, of course, strategic. And uh, on that, that note, uh, Troy, I would like to say I'd, I'd like to say hi to our 600 viewers that we have watching this game. All 600? Hey, 601. Don't you shortchange it? <laughs> well, maybe a few less now since they've heard us, but. Wants Williams. Excellent Williams. Look at him go. Oh, nice play. So nice, nice, nice. confusion. All completely cross field. Those are tough to make, but when you get them in stride, it feels good. Everyone open on that play, and he throws it there. Gets a nice angle pass, and only thing is, he's got to somehow kill this clock here. Jackson, a nice a run. A lot of time left. Another sweep to the bottom. Jackson loses his blocker. He is eight yards on first down, second and two. Here's the run four. Q Eagles is there. Inside the 10, first and goal from the seven. Mm, picking his play a little too quick there. He's probably just excited to score. And okay, he's real close. Second and goal All from right, the one. Play is again, a little too soon there. Deck tech from DPS. You gotta let that clock tick down as much as you can. Let them call those timeouts. Well, there's the touchdown with Keith Jackson rumbling, bubbling, stumbling. Mama take back two back of the flat checks. So I gotta stay hungry for the Crimson Tide. Ah, very well. I love the old far reference there about the old Keith Jackson. Not sure everyone got that reference, but. That's all the Wisconsinites did, so thank you very much. Oh, and he does an onside kick here. Jeez, he looked like he had a shot at a player, too. That was accidental, unless he's trying to carve some time off here and going to respond. I, I don't I don't think so. It's got to be accidental. Yeah, I think that was accidental as well. Eric Allen on defense. Thomas right up the middle there, second and two. Especially with a field goal. I mean, wins the game, so I don't... I think he would have done that on purpose. It might have been a leg issue. I don't think that DPS plays that much online, so that might have been part of it. Joiner with the sack. He was close enough for Scott Norwood to go wide right. I don't know if he still is. <laughs> too soon? A little too soon, yeah. Let's just wait another 20 years. <laughs> yeah, if you ever haven't if you haven't watched the Four Falls of Buffalo 30 for 30, that's a good watch. The, the, what is it called? The Four Falls? Four Falls of Buffalo. I would have thought it would have been called The Missing Rings of Buffalo, but that's probably another show. There's a Missing Rings documentary on NFL films of several different teams, but back to this one. Oh! Fourth, fourth down. down and oh, does not deliver. Man. So 48 seconds here, Tecmo DPS. Is he close enough here for Roger Ruzek? We'll see. The onside kick is working out for him in this game here. It's better to be DPS than good. <laughs> we love you, DPS. That, w that was his plan the whole time, I'm sure. To the 30 on the sweep seconds. play. Time's ticking away. What does he do? Ah, no, no, not too soon. Okay. Still not a gimme here uh, with uh, Tally rushing in. It's high, I think. I think it's good. It's out. Oh, it was a little high. Right. Oh, wow. Some drama, folks. Wow. Did Overtime it is. High? Did you call that? I did. And I have not watched wow. this. So I just I just thought it was I just thought it was gonna be good. Well, well Scott Norwood, we'll see if he kicks the uh kickoff to the right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I doubt it. He's thinking. They're talking. They're probably thinking about how does this work. It's been a fun back and forth game. A lot of explosive plays. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams have an opportunity to potentially close it out. I can tell you what, though. I'm almost sick of calling uh, Philadelphia Buffalo. If the, if the third game here is the same thing, <laughs> you might need a new friend. 
No, no, this is this is the last game of the broadcast, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I just messed up. Now we're we're done with we're <laughs> <laughs> for for better or for worse, we're done with default playbooks. Um oh, yeah, please. We've we've given you a steady diet of everything that you you mentally want to change. <laughs> it's gonna be mental gymnastics uh, for everyone involved. Uh it has you, been since the first you know, game. Yeah, you go from such extremes like um in two K with War Machines leagues. You know, you can you can change your plays throughout the entire game as many times as you want. And I can't tell you how many times I've just forgotten that, you know, playing the game. And uh, then we go to the other extreme where you have to use a default game and you can't change it ever. Force throw oh. DPS on a call play. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a nice feature that's introduced in later versions of Tecmo Super Bowl by default. Yeah, it's definitely something that we're not uh, used to. It's a nice hack that can change the playbook with some of those games. But sometimes, just like the out of bounce, uh, Rom, you're just not used to it. So you're just like, okay, can I do this? Can I not do this? You know, it's like you need that first. Oh, he's got Williams do. dancing around on a call play. Oh, huge conversion there. Hey, there's a techno yeah. game going on. <laughs> there is <laughs> yeah. more yards. You can get a field goal. I was going to say, you know, it's really, it seemed like Johnny has been in Tecmo DPS's head most of the game. So many call pass plays, but a nice run there uh, back in Ruzek field goal range. Not from the bottom hash mark. Here comes Eagles. He's running. 20, 15. Can he get past the drone? In the end zone, touchdown, ball game, DPS. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Because my battery and my laptop's about to die. So I, didn't... <laughs> <laughs> so I was hoping this wasn't going to get drawn out to another Bye-bye, Birdie. Bye-bye, Battery. Tecmo <laughs> DPS over Johnny V in overtime. Let us know in chat which game you like best. Thank you, Darth Rockman, for calling it. We'll have the scores for you right after this.